Hello, wow. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Give me a moment. Let me add the music. I completely forgot the music. Oh, shit. The music should be here. There we go. We have music now. Hey. <laughs> Hi, Seal. Hello, Impact John. Hello, Ruka. Hello, hello. <laughs> hi, hi. Hi, hi. How's everyone? I hope you've all been well. <laughs> ah, tonight's a chill night. Um, sorry for uh, starting late because uh, I was gonna start on time and then I had a stomach ache and uh, both toilets in the house were taken and so as you can see that the um, that was fun that was uh, very fun <sighs> it was actually um not very fun but you know it, it, it be like that sometimes wait is this the give me a moment let me just make sure the the um, is this the correct okay this is this is as as straight as like the stand will go mm. Mm, okay, I think the stand's going well. Hey, all right. So today we are going to continue the study. Okay, so the previous time we were doing swords. Uh, this time we are going to do pentacles. But before that, guys, did you have anything nice for dinner? Because my grandma cooked really, really nice misiam, and honestly, I would not eat any other misiam. <laughs> Yeah, I will not eat any other any other person's misiam because it's like hers is so good. Okay, hers is super good. <sighs> yeah, so this box is essentially uh definitely totemo legit. Uh it's a totemo legit pocket size deck. I mean I, I don't know, I got it off Shopee or something, <laughs> so I honestly wouldn't know, but like um I just got this so that we can um not say we can, but I got it so that uh, in case in the future I want to do readings outside, uh, this is a good... Uh, then this will be a pretty good standard deck to bring around with me because it's a lot smaller than the, than the normal decks, which I probably should kind of like show you guys uh, my point. Okay, so this is the normal deck. Uh, let me grab... Ugh. This is the normal size card, and this is the this is the pocket size card. So you can see there is a very distinct size difference, not that much of a size difference, but enough to enough to make storage kind of an issue. Plus, this is a lot thicker. This is like a lot thicker. So uh, this is like a lot lot thicker. This is like this is like playing card thickness. Look at this. It's playing card thickness. So uh Oh, well then, well then. So this is just an introduction. Normally, uh, when you see other people use the standard decks, they will be colored the same way. They'll be colored the same way like this. Uh, it's just that for me, I decided to go fancy. Okay, I just go fancy. And in the end, I got like, uh, I got this deck that is, it is nice, but it is not colorized. So let me go and find the equivalent in this one. Where is it? Cups, 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 cups. This is the eight of cups. Cup, 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 cup. Hoi! ta -da, See? So essentially, it's the same illustration. It's the same illustration. It just it doesn't have color. Yeah, it just doesn't have color. So that that's 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 fun. That's fun. <laughs> hello, Kim Bro. Good morning. And hello, Shadow Pal. Hello. Good evening. Yes. Hi. Hi. Today we once again have another hand cam stream that uh, definitely I did not set up uh, right before stream started. That was definitely um, completely prepared. Uh, you, you know what I mean, right? Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, so I was just talking about how um, the nor the standard the standard deck or like the quote unquote standard decks usually are colored like that. It's just I went fancy and got one that has no color, but the illustrations are the same nonetheless. Yeah. No cloth, the galaxy cloth is gone. I, uh, when I use uh, this book and stuff, I don't intend to use the cloth because um, I will have to flip the book here and there. But during readings, 
The thing is, the previous few times I tried using the cloth and it looks nice, but it keeps getting messed up because of my shuffling method. Yeah, and... I don't know, I could try next time to see if I could, uh... Yeah, I don't know, if either I do that or I find a way to secure the cloth even more. That means I secure it, like, with very heavy items at the side. Hopefully it won't ruin the visuals, you know? Yeah, but either way, I, I will still think about the setup for those. Uh, I'll think about the setup for those. Hmm. Yeah, but that's that's kind of like a small thing that's for me to worry about. You guys don't really uh, need to worry too much about that. <laughs> yep, so this deck is a playing card deck. You guys can see the size difference. Oh my gosh, size difference even more obvious when I put it next to each other. So this is like a playing card uh, portable uh, travel size. This is for me to bring out if I ever do readings outside. Uh, not that I've done it yet, but for the future. And then this is the actual size for um, when I want to be serious business, be like, yeah, only the most, um, st only the standard tarot uh, card size works. Yeah, so there's that. Today I kept, um, I kept this deck in the complete order, which is like, you know, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for the sake of studies. So I'm not going to mess up the order for uh, this deck. This one will go back into uh, my deck because it needs to rest. I know you want to be red, but like not today. <laughs> not today. Not today. Yeah, but because uh, there's no cloth, you can see very clearly that there's some shadows from when I move. So yeah, don't don't, don't mind too much about that. Uh, I'm gonna put a piece of quartz. Yeah. Yep, so um, tomorrow there won't be stream because I'll be joining my mom and the small sheep. The small sheep's gonna get um, gonna get vaccinated. Small sheep's gonna get vaccinated uh, tomorrow and uh, we're close to a really nice uh, adult-friendly place. So my mom was thinking like after the appointment, we could just go have dinner as a family. And um, it would have been nice if she told me before I made the schedule, but... You see, we work around it. Yeah, we work around it. So, um... My peers go to small sheep's well-being. Small sheep, not small cheap. Yeah, but, um... No worries, no worries. From what we can tell, he is in incredibly good health, okay? This one is just a checkup and his vaccinations and stuff. So, hopefully, we won't find, uh... We won't find out any unwelcome news tomorrow, okay? That, that would be... Uh, wonderful. Okay, I don't want to. I don't want to hear any unwelcome news either. Yeah, he's old. <sighs> I wish dogs live longer. I wish they live longer. Ah, same same thing. No sheep. Small sheep is different. He may be tiny, but like he is a sheep nonetheless. Okay. Yeah, so last week we did a lot of uh, funny, uh, funny, funny, funny shenanigans as well. Uh, this deck will go to the side first. We'll go to the side first. Oh my gosh, this, this man also pain in the ass. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna put this deck to the side. Yeah, don't don't mind my boys, the badass temple boys over here. Um, yeah, per doggy. Hey, hey, hey. Home man is getting girls. I think he'll be fine. <laughs> he got that riz, okay? He got that riz. All he has to do is look cute. Show his blep and the girls are all over him, man. I gotta learn, I gotta learn that Riz from him. <laughs> I gotta learn that Riz from him, holy shit. <laughs> man, I don't know how he does it. I think it's just a dog thing. <laughs> I wish Riz was that easy. For him, it is that easy because he just has so much Riz, it's like spilling out of him. Hi, Clement, the tea, uh, Okwe, Merlion, <laughs> hello. I made it for the next study stream. Congrats! Yay, you made it! Yay! Yeah, so mostly study streams are just me, like, studying um, the book. And then if you guys have any questions or anything, I'll try to answer them. But uh, as you can tell, there is a lot of deep diving to go into. So uh, for those who weren't here for the previous, uh, the previous study stream, 78 Degrees of Wisdom, A Tarot Journey to Self-Awareness is um, 
is this book by Rachel Pollack, and it was the first book of its kind that combined both divination and esoteric meanings of like the tar individual tarot cards, and it is not just a bestseller, but essentially what we would call one of like the tarot bibles around. It's, it's one of those things that everyone recommends you read at least once, even if you don't really agree with like some of the meanings or anything. Kind of like... I guess it's like... It's kind of like learning how Kizuna I started as a VTuber, you know? <laughs> It's like, yeah, you may not do things the same way as she used to do, but knowing the foundations of how it began and why it was done um, a certain way is still pretty important. You know? It's still pretty important. Unfiltered raw riz from Sheeb. Yeah, even he rizzes, he rizzes even me, okay? He's so cute. Just now he was just now he was just chilling in the kitchen. I grabbed him and I gave him kisses all over his face and he's like, oh god, please stop, stop, stop. Yeah, he's very soon. He's very soon. Yeah, but that won't stop me from kissing him all over because he's a cute little baby. Okay, he's my cute little baby. I will kiss him as much as I wish. Okay, so today we're going to do pentacles, okay? Pentacle. And pentacles are, as you can see, it's all about the coins, okay? It's all about the coins. I say as you can see, as if I showed you a picture of like the freaking coin. Yeah, you see? Um, basically, all the card designs, you will see this big sexy coin right there. Every time you see the big sexy coin, it means it is uh, the pentacle suit, okay? So there are decks outside that uh, change it to coins. Uh, for example, they say king of coins or they change it like king of... Uh, in the case of the Fortuna Tarot that uh, I'm, I've been learning quite a bit, it became like talismans. Yeah, but uh, she has her own system for that, so I'm not going to like really dive into that today. I'll probably have like some sessions to learn how to use the deck because her deck is not for beginners. It's not for the lighthearted, okay? Okay, so chapter 10, Pentacles. A culture is a long history of despising the physical world. The keyword here is physical. physical. We see Adam's creation out of clay as a humiliation, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. We insult people by treating them like dirt. Emotions and abstract thoughts are seen as higher than anything that which actually exists. Hmm. And yet, just as painting is the end result of an artist's conception, we can see the, nor the mortal world as the product of God's creative force. Hmm. Cross creation means the world of our senses. However far we may travel in spiritual meditations, we must begin and return here or lose ourselves in the process. Hmm. An end result. A physical end result. So I would say it's like Ma physical material physical or like material end result so essentially hmm hi john hello yeah basically it's is then when we go through like the thought processes and stuff like that ultimately when you have when you want to um, showcase like your thoughts and stuff, it has to be condensed into something like material. We must begin and return here. We must begin and return here. we we'll lose ourselves in the process. Cycle. Important cycle. So this is like an important cycle. A famous Kabbalistic tale illustrates this need for grounding. Through study and meditation, four rabbis enter paradise. Sorry, I completely forgot to uh, delete. Not say delete, like close my uh, Facebook tab. Don't mind me. Yeah, if uh if Kiko wants to contact me, uh Kiko can come onto stream. Yeah, it's fine. 
<laughs> I don't think she has anything important to uh, contact me about, so... Grounding. Through study and meditation for Rabi's Enter Paradise, Rabi Ben Azai experienced such ecstasy that he fell dead on the spot. Imagine experiencing ecstasy and be like, ah, and you just perish. What a way to go, man. Rabi Ben Zoma, overwhelmed by the flood of experience, went mad. Oops, sorry. Rabi Ben Abush, Abush saw what well, two gods, a contradiction of the basic tenet for monotheism. Hold on, I've realized I forgot something very important. Ah, much better! My classes! Yum! Okay. Hi, my Yukiku! Hello! Hi, hi! Welcome to my study stream where we're kind of chill. We're just kind of chill and like... Going going slowly through like the... the... the suit. Went mad. Nabi Ben abuse saw two gods. Da -da -da. And thereby became an apostate. What's an apostate? Hmm. What is an apostate? Give me a moment, I need to search. What is an apostate? Apostate. Oh, a person a person who renounces a religious or political belief or principle. Ooh. Basically you do not believe in religion anymore. That's kinda that, that's kind of extreme. Despising the physical world, that seems interesting. Mm, I mean, if you think about it, like, I mean, we don't really use logic in um, studies like these, but if we're talking about, like, how things generally go, yeah, this is kind of, this is kind of how we treat it, you know? Sorry, my mechanical. Wait, this is a shaker pencil. Ah, right. I forgot it can do this. The shaker pencil. Hmm. Yeah, but it's not as simple as just despising. It's kind of how... It's kind of the emphasis that you put on like... What's material and what's mental, you know? You can explain the story in terms of terror symbol. Symbolism. Rabbi Ben Azai went too far in the direction of fire and so burned himself out. Rabbi Ben Zoma allowed his emotion, water, to overcome his reason. Rabbi Ben um, Abuse, uh, overbalanced with sword's energy, took both what he saw and what he read in the scriptures to literally Rabbi Akiba, able to balance the other elements in earth understood his experience in the true way okay still don't fully understand it but um grounding would be a keyword i believe grounding is a pretty important keyword for for the pentacles mm. important keyword and it's really a form of coins oh so previously it was coins Pentacles stood primarily for materialism in the narrow sense of money and work. Excuse <laughs> me. <clears throat> yeah, so basically I think I think you guys hear me explain uh, the pentacles a lot, right? That it prim primarily it stands for like materialism and you know money and work, material possessions in a sense. We still see these important qualities in the Rider Pack, and indeed, Pentacles carry the problem of becoming so involved with these things that we forget anything else exists. The reverse, in a way, of Rabi Akiba. The Rider Pack, however, adds the greater dimension of nature to the fourth suit. So, adds nature. On top of, like, money and work, we also have nature. So we ground ourselves not just in our work, but in the love for the world around us okay this is pretty important so it's like mm. grounding ourselves is like what we do oh, what we do and loving 
nature. <clears throat> Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, I don't mind my handwriting. Like that's just that's just how it is. It be what it be, okay? As a magical sign, pentacles symbolize the magic of ordinary creation. Taken simply, this means the beauty of nature, the joy of satisfying work. The symbolism, however, carries a deeper meaning hinted at in the story of Rabbi Akiba. I don't know what the deeper meaning is, but let's continue. A mystic or magician does not simply ground itself in a negative way, using the world as the opposite of spiritual experience. Rather, the natural world, because it carries a firmer reality than the other elements, because it does not lead so easily to confusion or misconception or ill use, opens the way to a more mystic experience. Hmm. This is a long ass sentence. A firmer reality, natural world. From a reality. More steadfast. So basically, it's like the natural is more steadfast. In a sense, don't think of them as just direct opposite. Don't think of world. It's complete. Opposite of spiritual DXP. Hmm. God, so busy today. I forgot to feed the kittens dinner. <gasps> Go feed the kittens dinner. Do I, do I have to time you out to remind you? Like, like, come on, don't make me do that. Do not make me do that, okay? That's just not nice. The very mundaneness of day-to-day -day life ensures, by a kind of law of reciprocity, 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 that such things possess a greater magic than the more immediate attractions of the other elements. We cannot understand this paradox immediately. We need to ponder and experience it. Mm. The law of reciprocity. Reciprocity? Reciprocity? We cannot understand this paradox immediately. Da, da, da. Two facts about and that is true value. First, in the study of religious leaders, ancient and modern. The astrologer Ronnie Dreyer has found that earth signs predominate throughout their charts. Second, pentacles contain more gate cards than any other any other suit. I haven't fully read up on what gate cards are. That's on me. We think that is true value. Hmm. So for a lot of um, religious leaders, earth signs do predominate a lot. So. Religious, so it's like religion, relationship between religion and earth sign. Hmm. Shit. Between religion and Interesting. Okay. Well, that's the introduction to is it pentacles? Uh, pentacles. I'm not sure if my brain is big enough to absorb everything, but I will nonetheless try my best. <laughs> okay, we have 
king of pentacles and we has the food it's a food yeah honestly the full card i think everyone knows who the fool is um yeah so he's the fool mm. so king of pentacles the mundaneness of pentacles goes very well with the social responsibility of the king who presents to us the very image of the successful business or professional man okay mm. successful business or professional man Casual way sits on his throne and the fawn away he looks at his pentacle. He's very casual, you know. Successful business. Relaxed. Oops, sorry. Casual. Hmm. Casual. Let's see. We have like. Oops, sorry. Why do they keep doing this? <clears throat> Hi, senpai sayang. Aren't those black girls uncomfortable? Why do you wear them? Um, mostly because uh, I have identifying marks on my identifying marks on my hands, and it just generally helps to keep my it it helps it helps in keeping my anonymity. Yeah, so <clears throat> tattoos, not tattoos, but it's just it's just a general safeguard, I guess. A lot of a lot of other streamers, as you can see, will probably wear full gloves. For me, I chose fingerless gloves because uh, I I would like to keep use of my fingertips. Yeah, so this is a bit unusual. Most other people, you'll see full gloves completely. Yeah. Yes, thank you, Shadow. Thank you. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I mean, you know. And it's more of like um a better safe than sorry kind of thing. It's a better safe than sorry. Yeah. Because for VTubers, uh, anonymity is a bit more important, okay? Well, I'm a bit more flexible about it than uh, some of my other friends. Ah, stupid thread. I should cut it later. Um, it's still something I hold in high regard. So, yeah, that's why. Hmm. In fact, um, for quite a few streamers, you see that they don't even... Uh, they don't even have hand cams. Yeah, it took a lot of effort to set up the hand cam in the first place, and for a lot of them, they don't. So, the gloves are cool too. The gloves are cool, don't they? Ah, <laughs> it's so cool. I love it. I love it. Yeah, these gloves are actually intended for uh, nail art. So you know when you do the gel nails and then you put this under the UV lamp and then the UV lamp uh, hardens the thing. This is to protect your hands. Yeah, this is like uh this is like to protect your hands from getting too tan from the UV rays. <laughs> Appreciate you for that. Yeah, no worries, uh Senpai Sion. Like if you ask something and you're respectful about it, I'll try to explain the reasoning, you know, just don't be rude when you, you ask about stuff and you should be fine, yeah. Hi Zelix Dad, hello. To me it is a puzzle to figure out. Ooh. Are you talking about like the pentacles or are you talking about like my hands. <laughs> I feel like you could refer to either thing. <laughs> Business or professional casual way. Capabilities, achievements. Show him he's satisfied with life. So capabilities like um So, capabilities. Achievements. Satisfied with life. 
<coughs> he's generous, even courageous, though not especially given to adventure. So it's a gener generous man, yeah. Generous, um, courageous, but not that courageous. <laughs> The role of king does not frustrate him as it does the king of wands and cups, perhaps at an earlier stage in his life and career he might have suffered from impatience or doubt. Now his success has justified his life, allowing him to relax and enjoy it. Okay. So it's someone who is very comfortable, essentially. The king of pentacles is someone who is very comfortable, he has achieved quite a lot. Usually hints at like um, success in some kind of like business venture or work venture. Um, yeah, because swords and pentacles tend to point to uh, work stuff, I feel. Yeah. Hmm, I guess. Both. Should not write in those books. Uh, well, it's fine. It's my book, so like... <gasps> oh, thank you for the bubble tea! Aww. Thank you so much for the bubble tea! Ah, whoop, whoop. Thank you, thank you! <laughs> Thank you. I will get some nice bubble tea like tomorrow because it's too late now <laughs> to get any bubble tea. Should I write in those books? Um, it's okay. I'm a I'm a um I'm an English literature graduate. Literally, um, we are taught to write in these books. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. This is like a textbook to me. Okay, this is a textbook to me. It'll be fine. Besides, guys. It is my personal opinion that when you get a book and there's so many nice spaces and margins, it's for you to write stuff inside, okay? It's for you to write stuff inside. Of course, if you have a collector's edition, please, for the love of God, do not write in those books. But this is far from a collector's edition. This is, to me, a textbook of learning, yeah. Estela Riki! Hi! 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 Welcome in! Welcome in! Hi! Welcome in! Shadow... yeah... Shadow is like, um... Uh, here. You're, you're safe for tonight because, like, Kiko's not here. Or maybe Kiko's here and, like, watching you from the shadows. <laughs> Paid it for for the bubble tea. Thank you, Nevas. Thank you, Clementine. Thank you so much for the support. You didn't have to, but that makes me appreciate it more. Thank you very much. <laughs> you wrote their own? You do tarot? I wouldn't say I'm super new to it, but I would say that I still have a lot more to learn. I've been at it for... Um, has it been a year? It's been a while, it's been a while, but like I've studied really hard during this time. It's just that in terms of like the deeper, deeper, deeper stuff, I haven't really studied. Um, I haven't really dug to the core of it. Like this one is full of theory and things, so that's why I have a stream and I'm like... You guys are hold you guys are holding me at gunpoint so they actually like like focus on this lol. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Of course I don't I don't draw on my cards and stuff, but like these these books are textbooks to me, so I just write. And see, enjoying life means a closeness to nature as well. Just castle, symbol of its dominant placed in society, rises in the background. Oh, it's castle. Wait, is there a castle in the background? Okay. Oh, this is the castle. Castle is right here. Castle is right there. Right over there. Castle. Castle is great. <coughs> Let me go and grab like the equivalent. Let's see, where is the king? Pentacles. Da, 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 da. This is the ace. This is the king. Yeah, much better. Da, da, da. So we have like the castle. The castle is like right here. Castle is right here. There seems to be a lot of. Wait. Are these grapes? They look like grapes to me. They look like grapes to me. <clears throat> grapes. Generally surrounded by a lot of nature. Yeah, nature. It's a balance of the earth suits. Hmm. He sits in his garden. Yeah, grapes, grapes, grapes. I was right. Uh, grapes. Mm hmm. Grapes are good, guys. I love grapes. 
Also, it's a grapevine pattern on his robe. Yeah, it is a it is a grapevine pattern actually. I mean, not grapevine, grapevine, but these are definitely grapes. Yeah, grapes. Grapes are yummy, especially if they're sweet. Okay, they're like super sweet. Yum. The crown symbol of life's sweetness. Okay, decorating his robe. This is subjective though, like the symbol of life's sweetness part. The very leaves and flowers seem to merge with his robe, just as the water flowed into the Queen of Cups' dress. Life is good to him, and he means to enjoy it. Okay. Hmm. It's like incredibly... He seems to be in his element, a very balanced... Uh, balanced energy. A very balanced kind of energy. Welcome to the sheep and Zilic stuff. Welcome. Balanced uh, energy. It's balanced energy. Hmm. Yep, he's good to him, and he means to enjoy it. I like the idea, like the leaves and the flowers seems to merge with his role. He's just, he's just really in his element. In his element. In his element. <clears throat> Can I just place this like here? I don't know. Alright. Tarot reading once produced a full cross by the King of Pentacles. Hmm. And the color schemes? Is that so? Well, it is true that the, both of them have very similar color schemes. Like, look at these guys. These are like very similar in the color schemes. I know in writing that is bad unless you want that path. Um, I don't see how writing... <clears throat> I don't see how writing in a textbook... Um will do anything bad, okay? Like, uh, so... Like, if, if you have a problem with me writing in the textbooks, I don't think... I don't think we'll be on the same page for much else. To be very honest. Yeah. Just saying. Hi Luna, hello! Across da, 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 da. conjunction forms a fine example of I call vertical and horizontal time. What the hell is a vertical and horizontal time? What is that? What is that? Inner and outer worlds. Seriously? Inner and outer worlds. Why is pentacles like one of the harder suits to like to understand? The king symbolizes ordinary activity, accomplishment, social position, success, while the fool stands for. Excuse me, no, the fool stands for. The inner spiritual freedom that allows a, peop allows a person to enjoy these things and build upon them without getting trapped in a narrow materialist view. Okay, I mean, hmm. Inner spiritual freedom. Like, I mean, I understand what the king is going for, but inner spiritual freedom. All right, inner spiritual freedom. Trapped. What does the trap mean? Narrow materialistic. Get around all you want your boat, but did warn you. Like, I don't even understand why I can't write in books because that's literally how I studied in my literature degree. So <clears throat> like unless you can unless you can like tell me why. Like I don't see a reason why I should not. Because as because as spiritual as the practice is, uh, I will need to tell you up front that I am not a very spiritual person. And a book is just a book. So, 
A book is just a book. Listen, two people the same author roles, both successful, respected wealthy, yet inwardly one may be tense or frustrated or free while the other remains joyful and at peace. Hmm. Hmm. Inner and outer worlds. So basically, we need. <clears throat> need to find like inner spiritual peace. We see the fool as the beginning of the major arcana and the king of pentacles as the final card of the minor. Oh yeah, these two are right at the opposite. I didn't even realize, but it's true. See, this is card zero and pentacles is usually the last suit and like the king is like the last card of like the suit. So literally first of the major arcana followed by the a minor arcana and it is the last of the minor arcana. So hi Kamilkoto. Hello, hello, hi Kuro, hello, hello. I'll come in, I'll come in, Nebidabu. <laughs> Midorishi, hello, hi, thanks for the raid, hi raiders, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> I think my mix it up shit like the way, yeah. Oh my gosh, you're playing Honkai Star Real, oh my gosh, hello, Midorishi, hello, hello. Um, yeah, so I'm um tragically today I'm not playing Honkai Star Rail. Um definitely um not playing someone else's account. Yeah. But hi, hello, thank you, thank you for coming. I hope Honkai Star Rail went well and that you're ready for a uh, 2.1. I hope you're ready for 2.1. I'm still I'm still um preparing to uh, get to like EQ5, uh, Equilibrium 5, and I'm like, I'm not ready, but I want to grab Relic, so I have no choice. I have to like speed it up. <sighs> yeah, but that's for me. I'm not sure about you. you you're you probably at like EQ6 or something. <laughs> yeah, but um, hi Raiders, I'm Miri Shiba. I'm a Shiba, uh, I'm a Shiba VTuber. Uh, I am a fan of Honkai Star Rail. I've only I only just started playing like the past month, so I'm very new. I'm, I'm very 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 new to it, um, but uh, I I enjoy it nonetheless. <laughs> I enjoy it nonetheless, and uh, from time to time I do tarot readings. But uh, alongside my tarot readings, I'm also doing like tarot studies. You know, I'm also doing tarot studies such as this. So like we're looking at cards. We're kind of like deep diving. Uh, exploring deeper meanings of like the suits and all that kind of thing yeah so if you're interested in it uh, you'll find these streams very interesting but if not that's fine just you, you don't need to stay here <laughs> and listen to me talk like yourself yeah oh so you're returning you're returning have you used a code like like a returning code uh, uh, yeah yeah you need a returning code eh no i'm just kidding <laughs> i'm just kidding yeah no no need returning code but welcome back either way Waiting for Archeron's PV, I believe, at uh, Monday or Tuesday next week. Archeron's PV is coming, that's right. Um, right before, like, her character drops. I'm... I'm I'm really still debating. Like, I did say I'm previously not interested in Archeron, but... It's kind of tempting. Though, between Locha and Archeron, I have a bigger need for... Uh, for a good healer, I believe. I, I have like need for a good healer more than <laughs> more than another DPS. Does that make sense? You know? Yeah, my nihility units are are nervous. Okay, I don't I don't wanna do this to them, so but that's that. Anyway, Meter Easy, if you wanna go and rest, uh, feel free to go and rest. If not, you wanna lurk and see me cry over these uh, this deep text and ah, uh, sure, that's fine. She's a new mechanic character, that makes her interesting. I think I would like to see and observe before I pull for her. If I pull for her. But my priority is actually Locha, so... Locha! 
<laughs> I'm essentially building my future Blade team. Like, I joined shortly after Blade rerun ended, so that was a bit tragic, but it's fine. I'll just wait for the next one, you know? I'll just wait for the next one. It just LDs me fine. Lochadore, best boy. Who's Lochadore? Who? The homes? <laughs> Who that? <laughs> Wait, why is like the camera lagging a bit? The camera's like lagging a bit. Screams. The camera's actually lagging. Anyway, but. Why is the camera lagging? He's a one man hospital. And you know who needs a hospital? Blade. Blade freaking needs a hospital. That's who he is. Yeah, but um, that's, that's just me. He honestly would be like, no, don't get a hospital. I want to perish, but I am H. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing, but um, some of the characters would really benefit from some counseling. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Yeah. Why is it still lagging? Yeah, because on my camera, it's fine, but... Yeah, so on my camera, is fine, but on like the screen, it's... It's lagging by like... What? 5 seconds? 5 to 10 seconds? This is so weird. So whatever you're seeing on screen is like 5 to 10 seconds late. It's so weird. <laughs> <laughs> but then popularity holds true only if you see the cards in a line if we ambitious them in a circle the full and the king of pentacles become joined together <gasps> they are connected dun 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 well, since i'm so pity have currently my five star character <gasps> oh yeah you oh yeah there's that guarantee wait i thought five star characters pities are at 90? Was it at 90? Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, you're probably more familiar with it than me, but like, uh, I completely forgot the pity. Was it 70? It's 90, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 90, 90. <sighs> I'm just thinking about how Invivita Lune came home to me at 143 draws. Oh my gosh, my first limited 5 star and he had to do that to me. Oh my gosh. I'm far far away from my guarantee and please since I got a black swan in a single tin. Stop flexing Kurtz, don't flex. Jesus, stop flexing. Why are you like this? The king is meant for success. Become joined together. If they're joined together, then like. Okay, if they are joined together. So if let's say they're in a circle and then like they're joined together, does this mean that. Does this mean that you need to. That, that you need to read them such that they kind of come together to become a complete picture? Hmm. This might work. Hmm. Equivalent to the world art. Hi, Angel. Terror for Honkai RNG luck. I don't know, man. Terrible. <laughs> Wipe sweat. It's gonna be another ding, ding new accident for me if that happens again. Incident. Yeah, whatever. My worst pool is pulling seal at first banger. Banner. I hit eighty pool to get her. I got hundred forty three pool for like my first uh, limited. Freaking soak Daniel to all of my resources. Pain, pain. Guys, you you have no idea how much I want to pull for Ting Yuan. He is like my current bay. He is like my current bay in Honkai Star Rail. Okay, I want him so bad, but like, but I know that I would benefit from the next two banners. 
I I hold on your ting ting Liu is my is my Daniel is my in baby totally. I use hundred forty three warps for that stupid guy who come home. I hate this. I hate this. And he's my first limited character. Uh, what a precedent is. How much have you spent on Honkai? Yeah, Kurt, how much have you spent on Honkai? I think he doesn't have great first impression. <gasps> Excuse me, speak for yourself! Ding Yuan's King Yuan, okay? He's a King Yuan, excuse. Uh, yeah, anyway. The king is meant for success. Reversing him suggests failure or simply mediocrity. Hmm, man. Failure or failure or mediocrity. Failure to reach potential. Failure to unleash potential. I guess this is kind of like. A lack of fulfillment brings dissatisfaction, feelings of weakness, and doubt. Okay, fulfillment. Dissatisfaction, weakness, doubt. Hmm, okay. And then we can see as an idea of success corrupted. So, corruption. Corrupted. Hmm. Corrupted means any means to achieve. Likely it also means like sorry, ambitious. Someone who is perhaps too ambitious. Too ambitious and uncaring. Too ambitious and uncaring. Hmm. Hold on, let me like see. I think I missed something. <clears throat> Screw the meta. <laughs> waifus are eternal. <laughs> what do you mean, Bishwash? I mean, that's true. Waifus are eternal. You know who's my waifu? Jingyuan. Jingyuan's the waifu. Okay? Okay? I said what I said. I said what I said. That's my first impression of him at the release and more supportive character makes him very good. Yeah, he is um he is very good. I think with Sparkle he became King Yuan, yeah. King Yuan's husband or not waifu. Excuse me, are you it's like are are you are you trying to make the rules here in my household? Are you trying to make the rules here in my household? If I say Jing Yuan is waifu, he is waifu, okay? Okay, just saying. It takes it takes it takes a man to be best girl. It takes a man to be best girl. Yeah, just saying. Okay, and you know I'm half kidding, right? <laughs> She's not as eternal as the other wife. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and do first. You know who's not eternal? Ting Yun. I said what I said. <laughs> you wanna know who's not an eternal wife? Who is Ting Yun? <laughs> you wanna you wanna insult King Yun? I will fight back. Okay, I will not take this lying down. If we describe the King of Pentacles as someone who needs a vital connection with. Nature and not everyone does, despite con despite contemporary assumption. <laughs> contemporary assumption. The king river stands for the state of being cut off from that rejuvenating flow. Oh, cut off from that rejuvenating flow. So nature rejuvenates. Nature important for. Reju rejuve rejuve nation. Hmm. 
The King Reverse stands for the saving call. Here too, the break results in dissatisfaction and even psychic danger. Well, thank God I'm not a psychic then. Jesus. <laughs> What's in the host on Eternal Waifu Firefly? But is but is Firefly like actually um dead dead? We don't know yet, okay? We don't know yet. I was about to say, I hope you have everybody talk to me and you hurt my heart. <laughs> well, in so well, it started with like insulting Jing Yuan. <laughs> you know which other waifu is an eternal? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but thank you. I I am doing kind of great. Everyone just came in. They're like, you use tarot for like Honkai Star Realm. Like I think Tarot's just gonna tell me, uh, spend more money. <laughs> Is the fire for like guys, guys, guys? Please, please, please. I'm <laughs> <laughs> oh, guy, don't do this to me. The basic, yeah, yeah, me trying to continue. All right, so we learn that um, the King of Pentacles stands for success, and that it is important to always have a connection to nature, how to rejuvenate, and to maintain balance in your life. <laughs> Get turned on the inside dice. Yeah, well, we got Robin at 2.2. 2. I mean, if Firefly turns out to be important, we could get her in like, I don't know, 2.3 or something? If Jingyuan is the king, and is he the king of pentacles? Mm. King of pentacles, huh? Is he the king of pentacles? Personally, I would say that he is pretty much... From what, from what I can see, it seems like he is, um, he is the king of pentacles. A successful professional man, right? Like... I suppose, because the thing is that this is like a representation of like, a current state in your life. It doesn't have to mean that you're a guy. It doesn't have to mean that, you know, you will always be the king of pentacles. So, I can see them, bitch splash. Like, um... It's it's kind of like a snapshot, okay? But if you ask me, I personally think yes, he probably could be considered the king king of pentacles. So I would say that probably he should like spend some more time in nature as well. But but man's man busy, man. He 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 literally sneaks onto the express just to like catch a nap or two. <laughs> just like sir, please. <laughs> for success blades storyline further supports it um I, I i i guess okay yeah okay he didn't specifically sneak on to have a nap but like he he's like oh my gosh um he 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 sneaks he goes on the express to kind of like get some relaxation yeah and have you you guys have gotten messages from him right he literally writes that i am not at the seat of divine foresight imagine imagine like the prime minister practically never being in his office like <sighs> anyway anyway but however however remember life is good to him and he means to enjoy it i don't think this quite represents him does it <laughs> i don't think that kind of i do feel like he has found some kind of like inner spiritual peace if not, he would have been stricken by Mara by now. Okay, but like, um... But in, in, in many, on many levels, he's a pretty balanced personality. He's not in danger of being like, corrupted by anything. So yeah, he seems pretty suited as like, the King of Pentacles, I guess. Yeah, thanks for the hit pack. Hi, Hi Larry Corpse, hello. What an interesting name. Hmm. Hmm. Oh god, I can't believe they're talking about rabbit in the corner, signifying like... What? 
sexual fertility. Oh god. Anyways, are we gonna compare with like every single, every single card? Okay, let me grab like the Queen of Pentacles, PG thirteen stream. It's just talking about symbolism. There's no like graphic stuff. We'll be fine. So this is the Queen of Pentacles. She Lucas. She's like, mm, me like money. <laughs> No, that's not what she's saying. <laughs> Don't take that. <laughs> and then you see the magician. In many ways, they look like they're wearing pretty similar clothing. If I do say so myself, they look like they're wearing like similar clothing. It's just baby making. That's normal. Yeah, you know who's not making babies? The Vidyadara. Yeah, they ain't making babies. Anyway, <laughs> back to the topic. <laughs> Where the king sits before a castle, the queen's throne stands entirely in a field framed by roses. Okay, so we got a lot of like roses and stuff. Let me just like put this. Um, Vidya Dara's are infertile. Yeah, they're in Poland. Framed by roses. Hmm, all of these be right roses. Hmm. Roses? Mm hmm. For the king simply glances at his pentacle, the queen holds hers in both hands, intensely aware. She has a firm hold on it. I would say firm hold and knowledge. Mm -hmm. This one's a bit hard to write, okay. Knowledge? Firm grasp. Mm -hmm. uh, bro, they just respawn from level one. <laughs> Help. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, but they do not make babies. They just respawn. Yeah, they respawn. They don't make babies. That's the difference. I don't really have a limit to sustainer, but attack is the best defense. It depends on your playstyle, Kamiyoko though. It really depends on your playstyle. Like Damn. Could I interest you can I interest you in a character that stands for Queen of Pentacles? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You could just go for like a venturin. A venturin seems like a very promise sustain. Promising sustain, yeah. Any other minor? Card. She represents a love for and unity with the world. So she seems to be a card that is full of love. Love. So essentially, it's like love for the world. Unity with the world. Hmm. That's pretty important. Important. Mm, the, the rabbit. Okay, I know it's a bit hard to see, but can you see like this tiny rabbit over here? Apparently, it means like not only for sexual fertility, but also for the spiritual fruitfulness of a life that has found its own rhythm in the world around it. <sighs> interesting. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Very, very interesting. Hmm. I'm gonna underline sexual fertility because I feel like this will be important later. Spiritual fruitfulness of a life. So basically, it's like abundance, fruitfulness. In many cases, where it comes to like the queens, the uh, for like the queens, uh, the and the empress, a lot of them talk about like abundance, like the theme of abundance, the theme of like bringing forth something new 
yeah, reinforce something new. So I can't believe that I can't believe that Honkai Star has like helped me a bit with my terror knowledge because it's like when I talk about tower, I was like, hmm, upheaval, destruction. And I'm like, hey, 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 destruction. <laughs> I think it's just me. I'm just too weeb. Yeah. Oh my gosh, the sexual symbolism. Can you guys not? Okay. Her qualities as well as the sexual symbolism related really her to the patron of pent pentacles, the empress. Oh, so the empress is the patron of pentacles. Yeah, of course. At the same time, as a minor figure. She carries a quality lacking in the arc. Typo, Trump of passion, self-awareness. She is self-aware of her sexiness, apparently. Yeah. She knows and believes in herself and in the magic of her life. She knows in, in, in readings, this quality of self-trust will often prove the most important. Seems like there is some kind of like theme of like a confident, a confident person. Like, this queen is incredibly confident. So I guess you look at this, you see like confidence in this card. If the king stands beside the fool, then the queen belongs with the magician. Oh no, queen, what are you doing with the magician? What are you doing with the magician? Don't you have a husband to go back to? I'm sorry. <laughs> I shouldn't do this. Um, I think she wears a red robe over a white shirt, leaves and flowers frame both of them. A yellow sky shines behind each. I think it's just that um, it's just that the artist likes to put like a yellow color behind them. It's nothing major. Where the magician manipulates the forces hidden in the world, the Queen of Pentacles joins herself to those forces, allowing them to flow through her into her daily life interesting similar um so basically they have like very similar similar clothing similar clothing which is cool which is cool excuse me Forces hidden in the world. Magician is about manifestation, by the way. Like, if you can remember one, if you can remember one word about, um, you can remember, um, like one word to describe the magician. It's always the word manifestation. Yeah, manifestation. When in doubt, manifestation. Yeah. Hi, rabbit. Hello. Yeah, I swear, every time a mod comes in, the first thing they do is test their, like, shadow pal. They're like, Have you done anything suspicious while I was not looking? Yeah. How do you wish to rerun at patch 2.2? Uh, Fushin. I want Fushin. <laughs> I want Fushin or Ramei. Yeah, that would be great. Those would be wonderful additions to my team. <laughs> I've not done anything. You sure? You sure you haven't done anything? <laughs> I don't know you 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 told me you did say that that Jingyuan is not waifu. I don't know. That that sounds that sounds very time outy if you ask me. Man, I wish Kiko were here. That'd be so funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so magician manipulates the forces hidden. King of Pentacles joins herself to those forces. So does that mean she is kind of like a conduit, some kind of medium? Queen of Pentacles is conduit. 
medium medium for these forces interesting mm. <coughs> are you getting shadow time down again it's called the shadow timing out speed run i think shadow's into it so don't don't let him enjoy it too much you know you know what i mean gotta keep it spicy yeah gotta keep gotta keep shadow on his toes yeah i mean it's only a matter of time before like shadow just goes dang hung and then like kiko just goes Hey, heard you saying thank. <laughs> like <laughs> he is M. Yeah, sounds about right. Sounds about right. Yeah. A queen. Wait, I'm not looking at the right card. Okay, I'll put the. Oh no, I'm covering Kuku. I'm sorry, Kuku. I won't cover you. Your beautiful face. Yeah. We edging shadow. interesting i know right I'm, I'm like like I, i'm very like curious about like how it works mm. he seems to always be asking for it he has to like it to some extent you know yeah yeah guys so it's okay shadow there, there's no shame in admitting it it's fine we we we're we're an accepting bunch here okay we're an accepting bunch here right yeah Mm, water. Mm, water is nice. Ah, water is so good. I love water. Okay. If you think the queen reverse can mean not trusting oneself in some specific situation. So it's a direct opposite. Uh, a direct opposite meaning. Direct opposite meaning. But this one is pretty straightforward. So like upright she has a lot of self-trust, but if you find her like this, like there seems to be like a lack of trust in oneself. More generally it refers to psychic weakness. Oh god. GG For cutting off the queen from a vital connection to the earth results Even more so than with the king in nervousness and confusion She becomes afraid even phobic <clears throat> Afraid even phobic, mistrustful of others uh, Doubting especially of herself, doubting abilities and her value as a person oh, This sounds terrible <clears throat> This separation means more than being isolated from plants and animals. Rather, it means a loss of daily rhythm in life, a dissatisfaction of the whole environment, and an inability to appreciate what the environment has <coughs> to offer. It's kind of like being cut off from the result of being cut off from energy source. Um, being cut off from an energy source. Hmm. <clears throat> I come here, Have you ever played Persona games? Um, I do have a per one Persona game in my library. I haven't started on it yet. I was planning to start on it after I finish like um, the TGAA Chronicles, <clears throat> like the full one, because I haven't started on the second game yet. Inconsistency is kind of like waiting on me. She's like, you would change your mind about Herlock. And I'm like, I don't know, man. Is that even likely? Uh, but yeah, that's kind of like the plan. The plan. But uh, I guess currently as of now, no, I haven't played any of the Persona games. I know that th th there is some link with like the, the, sorry, the like tarot imagery and stuff, but that's about it. I don't know much else. Yeah, I don't know much else. 
In the reading, the Queen Weavers not only points out these qualities in the subject, but suggests a dual remedy. First, a build up in confidence. Okay, so we, this is like what it means. This is the answer. Dual remedy. This is interesting. Dual remedy. A builder in common builder emphasizing his or her accomplishments, accomplishments and good qualities. A person can do this through meditation with the queen right side up. Okay. <clears throat> Second, the grounding of the emotions in natural things, ordinary pleasures and satisfying work. So basically, it's like one recall. Boost confidence. So boost confidence. Emphasize. Accomplishments and uh, good qualities. Mean whoops. Can we have <clears throat> grounding emotions? <clears throat> in natural things i guess nature natural things ordinary pressure pressure pleasures and satisfying work satisfying work Gosh, why did I write it so small? My hand! Ah! Don't start them. He will come with a surprise. A what? <coughs> <laughs> yeah, only because Edo is kind of busy right now, so... Mm. So next we have like... So we have the queen. Is it queen? So the queen can go and sleep for now. Okay, so no more comparison with the major arcana, which is great. Uh, then we have the knight of pentacles. Where's, where's, where's my knight? Knight. Knight. There is the, 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 the knight of like. <clears throat> there is more knight of pentacles. It's so yellow. It's so yellow. It's so the yellow. So the yellow. <sighs> okay, guys. I don't know if we can like finish. Um. <clears throat> I don't know if we can finish the whole of this suit today because as you can see it's a very deep a very deep dive and a lot of like brain power so I'll just do my best but I cannot guarantee like we'll finish <laughs> the suit <laughs> pain pain and suffering <laughs> yeah you, you know what I feel like doing I feel like I should um go and grab some barbecue corn I can even I can even show you guys like uh what what they look like um it looks like this it looks like this see it's like this tiny thing and it's really crispy mmm it's so nice I think you'll be finished before finishing the reading <laughs> I will. I'm always finished before I finish. You know, spiritual. Mmm, crispy. 
This is addictive. <laughs> it's, I know it doesn't look like much, but it's really addictive. I took that the wrong way. Sounds like a skill issue, Shadow. I won. Oh, so good. Um, I can only send you send you guys like a Shopee link. <laughs> Isn't it good, guys? That food ASMR. I think I may have eaten those before too. Probably not from the same brand though. But I think several brands, like... Several brands stock it, so... The other day when, like, Kiko and Inconsistency came over, I let them try and Inconsistency was legit like, oh no. <laughs> and I gave Kiko a huge bag. Mm-hmm. I guess we a huge bag. Who knows if, if there's any left? <laughs> My favorite is Nissan Waffles? What are those? I think I may have eaten those before too. Probably not from the same brand. Oh yeah, sorry, I read that already. Yeah. What are Nissan Waffles? Hmm. It's so good. It's so good for energizing me because it's like, it's just the right amount of salty. So good. <laughs> okay, so we have um, the night that is unfortunately going to cover Kuko's handsome face. Ah, tragic. <clears throat> the night's responsibility for action brings out the suit's practical qualities. At the same time, denying the knight's natural pension for adventure tends to distort and narrow his attitude to life. He's responsible, hardworking, uncomplaining. Hmm. Basically, a very, very grounded, like. He's a very grounded figure, the Knight of Pentacles. Deeply grounded character. <laughs> Though he also holds the pentacle, he does not look at it. Yeah, he's not looking at the pentacle. And he stares over it. Lost sight of the source and meaning of his strength in life. So basically... <clears throat> he represents like a focus on represents a kind of like focus on uh hoops did it freeze? I think it froze. Yeah. Focus on work practicality over connection to nature. <clears throat> Did it just speed up, Lamal? This is funny. Chocolate waffles. Chocolate waffles are great, yeah. Oh, hello, Antony. Hello. Hope study's going well. It's going okay, I guess. <laughs> it's going okay. <clears throat> you know who the knight reminds me of? It reminds me of Yan Ting. <laughs> He's like. It's like I am missing uh missing the forest for the trees kind of like um he has a simple minded kind of thinking. But at the same time I feel like he's probably more suited to be like the page. He's more of like the page stage of his life, you know. But he can embody the characteristics of like the Knight of Pentacles as well. So hmm. 
I suppose. Sometimes the night reverse can mean an awakening. Yeah, the night reverse is gonna fall off his damn horse. Is what was what I would like to say. I'm like, see, if you turn the night like this, he's gonna be like, yeah, falls off his horse, falls off his high horse and stuff like that. So that's kind of like how I remember. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta take things literally to uh, really develop your uh, understanding of the meanings. <laughs> And sometimes an awakening. So there is always like this sense of like failure or like blockage. Be back by some midnight snacks waiting so for I see. Um hang in there, you got this. My pup came to say hello and hijack my bed. What do you mean your bit? It's obviously your pup's bit, and you're the one hijacking it, Mayugiku. I'm sorry. Like, like, them's the rules, okay? That's your pup's bit, okay? Not yours. Okay. When we when we welcome a pet into the family, it is no longer it is no longer my room. It is our room. <laughs> Bugs Bunny meme. It is our room. <laughs> Thanks for the head pad, the hydrate, and the big stretch. Thank you. Hit the pad. No hydrate. And big stretch. Communism in this household. It is what it is. I said what I said. Hmm. You mean it's the pups from now? She's four months old. So she's not big enough to take over a queen bit. <clears throat> That's what you think, Mayugiku. Okay, that's what you think. Okay, clearly this pup has ambition. Okay, this cup pup has ambition. You need you need to nurture the ambition. All right, yeah. Our room. That's so weird. It's like it's not your room. It's our room. <laughs> You're like before pet my room. After pet our room. <laughs> <laughs> Me trying to peacefully chill in like my room and then small sheep comes in and it's like our room. <laughs> my room woman. Granted she's gonna be a big girl. Labrador and golden retriever mix. Oh shit. That's not like a really huge, huge girl. Same. It's okay. It's only a matter of time before before it won't be our bit. It will be it will be her bit. Yeah. So please um treasure your time. Um uh being able to call your bit your bit, okay? Because soon it will not be your bit anymore. It's not even our bit, it's her bit. Okay, so just 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 keep that in mind. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I had a good dinner, so I keep burping. Let's see, failure exaggeration. Is that in a slow sound to the point of inertia? Hmm. So steadiness slows down to the point of inertia. So like no movement essentially. His body response gives way to idleness. Idleness, so that's not good. No movement. Lack of movement. No movement. So, no movement. Hmm. It seems like a repressed desire for adventure or great enhancement. You know, like the type of people who's like, eh, eh, it's not like I want to advance or anything, but actually, secretly, they want to aim for like greater things and stuff, yeah. <laughs> I think Mayugiku um, has it all under control, but just be prepared for the hour bit part. <laughs> By the way, how small sheeps today? Small sheeps is not in the room with me today, but um, he is just chilling outside. I gave him many, 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 many kisses on his face um, <clears throat> against his will before I started stream. So I think he's happy, you know. 
definitely wasn't trying to run away from me as I gave him many kisses. But um, it'd be like that. I'm sure he loves me. Okay, I'm sure he loves me. You know. <laughs> Yeah, tomorrow we're taking him for his uh, annual vaccination. And the last time we were there, uh, we... Uh, how to say this? The last time we were there, he was uh, in a pink of health. So it's like, hopefully this year it will be the, the, the pink of health as well. <clears throat> then my mom is thinking of um, uh, booking a teeth cleaning as well. A teeth cleaning. Um, amongst other things, he is getting old, so gotta take extra care, guys. We gotta take extra care of the cute little sheep. <laughs> the fishies are awake. <gasps> Fishy! Fishy! I'm sure they're so cute. They just go bloop, 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 bloop. Ah, fishies are adorable. Okay, a reverse can also indicate a crisis. It's a crisis, guys. Not just not a crisis, a crisis. Hmm. hmm. Crisis seems pretty important. So there is some sense of like dedicating, <coughs> dedicating to yourself. Your whole life to some responsibility and then like suddenly you lose it and naturally you get overwhelmed by like discouragement and depression another example would be a woman who has dedicated her life to her children and now finds that they've grown up and away from her that's kind of sad hmm okay so a sense of like Having having life's meaning taken away. Though such extreme meanings, of course, occur rarely in actual readings, they remain implied in a nice basic paradox, deeply grounded in. Yet unaware of the magic beneath him, he identifies himself as if with his functions. He needs to discover the real source of his strength within himself and in life. Okay, the real source is like... Night is more than... <clears throat> needs to know he is more than... He is more than what he can do. Just what he can do. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> I look up and I don't know what you guys are doing. What? Damn. Alright, God, there's a wall of text. Ooh, great thing. Can I hold on, mix? Ooh, wow, that is a lot of... That, that sounds like a lot of big dogs. I hope you're prepared. I hope you're prepared to deal with like the gigantic dogs that are coming your way. I'm sure gigantic dogs come with gigantic love as well, but then... Um, couldn't be me. I live in an apartment. Uh, that would never work out. <laughs> that would never work out, unfortunately. Yeah. Sometimes I wish we could have big dogs, but then... Um, no, I don't live in a big house. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I can only get another deck. <laughs> Me be like, we may not have space for a dog, but I do have space for another deck. <laughs> he's my older brother's dog, but he's like super clumsy. Aww. Big dogs are cute when they're clumsy and a bit dumb. Yeah. The bigger the dog, the dumber. Hmm. I have good mood. Good mood is hello. <laughs> I'm not sure if I like uh, pronounce your name correctly. But hey, what are you doing? I am doing some Telo studies on top of chatting to everyone. Uh, previously it was Hongkai Staro. Now it's about dogs apparently. <laughs> now it's the dogs. 
um yeah you can feel free to join in like talk about like tarot stuff or you know things like that i'm doing some comparisons as well looking at like the colors and the thing and going like a bit more deep dive and stuff like that yeah she doing some carrot studies that's right i'm doing some carrot studies baby okay carrots are good for you if you eat them supposedly your eyesight will improve i mean my eyesight is shit so it's too late for me but for you guys you should eat more carrot and if that's not possible you should eat more carrot cake preferably the fried kind you know the ones you go to the hawker center okay you go there they fry pieces of it with egg and like that's really yummy you should go for the black one the one cooked with soy sauce that's the yummy stuff all right that's like the super super yummy stuff <laughs> Ooh, black carrot cake is so yummy. The blacker, the better. Oh, like, yeah. like you need to add a lot of like the black soil. So I was like, oh yeah, baby. You should go Newtons. Newton Circle. I've been there, but I haven't eaten the the black sauce. The... Oh, sorry, it's not but it's not soy sauce. It's like the the sweet sauce, right? Like the sweet sauce. Oh. But those carrot cake don't use any actual carrot. Did I stutter, Clementine? If I say you should eat carrot cake, then this means you should eat carrot cake. It just be like that, okay? It just be like that. <laughs> it's dark soy sauce. I think it, they use some kind of like sweet sauce. I don't know if it's like really dark, dark soy sauce, yeah. What the heck is fried carrot cake? It's not like something that shouldn't exist. No, don't think of the carrot cake as in like this, the, the dessert carrot cake. You, um... You eat. You just search fried carrot cake or just Chinese fried carrot cake. It's okay. You just search it. Your mouth is gonna water. That's some good shit right there. Oh my god. <laughs> Hi, Steel Prophet. Random is a fun fact. My favorite. Did you know the whole carrots made you see better was actually old war propaganda? It was to help deter nighttime raids. I know it's propaganda. That's why I said, like, supposedly it helps you see better. <laughs> <laughs> but either way, um, eating extra carrots, having it in your diet is always, um, is always like pretty, pretty solid. Yeah, no, no harm will come to you. Like, to have some extra carrot. Mm -hmm. Fried radish cake. Oh, that sounds good. You remind me how my friend ordered the fried carrot cake, expecting actual carrot cake. Why would you expect actual carrot cake when you eat fried carrot cake? Like, come on. <laughs> You want a normal carrot cake, go to like Sodeli or something. Sodeli has like the good carrot cake. Really expensive, but like good carrot cake nonetheless. <laughs> Guys, but fried carrot cake is like, oh yes. Um, Besides the one that's cooked with egg, like in tiny pieces, you might know another one as like the dim sum fried carrot cake. So it's like... They serve it in the dim sum the boxes and stuff and oh that's good stuff as well. That's right, carrot cake. The cream pie uses if you spinach or put hair on your chest, you'll be strong as Popeye. Oh man, if he told me that, I would stay away from spinach so <laughs> Yeah, but I believe it's like Popeye says spinach makes you strong. Spinach, um, nom 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 nom. Spinach is good, guys. It's just a bit bitter sometimes. I do love adding spinach into my pasta, though. Like you know, you cook your pasta with like cheese and bacon and stuff. And like spinach gives you the illusion that you're eating healthy, even if you're not actually eating healthy. Dim <laughs> sum low baku. What's the low baku? I don't actually know all of like. The uh, but I can't really eat still my because like it's prawn and currently it's so it's just so sad. Spinach with garlic and the oyster sauce. Oh yeah, shit. Uh my grandma, my grandma cooks broccoli and carrot and sliced carrots with garlic and oyster sauce. And then sometimes she throws in stuff like she sometimes throws in stuff like sliced pork or um mushrooms and oh that shit's good. Ah. Uh. My grandma is like mmm, yum yum mmm, yum. That's the good stuff. <laughs> Thanks for the hydrate. Do we have the same grandma? 
Um, my grandma runs really like fast. <laughs> Not runs, she walks very fast. Hello. <gasps> Thank you for the prize, dear prophet. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. And the old box TV, you sit too close, you go blind, you take your hand up to the TV to feel the static. <laughs> really? I mean, I was just told, like, don't. Don't don't read books on lying down. Your eyesight's gonna go to shit. Ha 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 ha. Unfortunately, whether or not I do that, my eyesight's gonna go to shit anyway. Cause I got shit like vision jeans. <laughs> no, my my grandma is very healthy and very fit. Like like she just she nooms and like her friends have to be like, please slow down, ma'am. And she's like, but I'm not. It's like, she's like, can you not walk so fast? And she's like, but I'm not walking fast. This is my normal speed. And then she nooms. She's just... Shoom. Yeah, like... like There's... there's uh, One of her nicknames is Pwiki Saw, which is basically like the airplane auntie because she moves so fast. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> okay, we move on to the page of pentacles. Look at this dreamy little... Dreamy... Okay, so we have... Hmm. Why does this remind me of Tintra? <laughs> oh my gosh, this one remember the traits are my Tintra. In direct contrast, and like, the page looks at nothing but his pentacle holding it lightly in the air is like... The page be looking at the pentacles like, is this a pigeon? It's like, yeah, is this a pigeon or something? Was it? Is this a is this a butterfly? Is this a pigeon? Yeah, that 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 like, I mean, prototypical worker, the student lost in his studies. Okay, so we got like a young student lost in his studies. So like very obsessed, symbolizing the. Actual study and the scholarship. So it's important to see it as like mm, he is essentially he's lost in the sauce basically. Lost um Caring for little else. Study and scholarship. So practical actions in learning. Hmm. Look at this cool star I found. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like, look at this cool star I found, baby. And it's like, could you put it down? No. Could I see it? No. It's mine. <laughs> it's just a symbol. The page need not refer to someone actually in school, but simply anyone approaching. Any activities with these qualities of fascination, involvement of caring less for rewards, social position than the work itself. So, oh, sorry. Someone is basically someone learning for the sake of learning. Learning for the sake of learning. Yep, learning for the sake of learning. Okay, good night, Kudo. Good night. Go to sleep. Okay, go have a good sleep. Actually, maintain a healthy sleep schedule, unlike sheep. Please don't follow in my footsteps where there is concern. <laughs> okay, the page appears as the converse of the night. What does converse mean again? Oh my gosh, I completely forgot. Hey, thank you for the 20 months, Alan. Oh my god, thank you. 
Oh, we are four months away from like two years. Oh my god. Let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna make something yummy for myself. The food tart earlier made my stomach grow so loud. <gasps> Yo. Oh my gosh. Go make some food. Maybe get some like, cook some Indomie or something. That would be so cool. Yeah. That would actually be pretty, pretty darn cool. Yeah. Anyway, welcome, Ellen. Welcome. Hi. Hi. <laughs> It's been a while. Almost two years. Almost two years. Almost two years. You know what I want? I want to cook Indomie myself. But like, um, I can't do that while I'm streaming. So... Uh, I mean, I could bring it to my room to eat. But it's gonna stink up the whole room. No. Enjoy Indomie. It is just me. Uh, Imagine streaming. Get me, me. I can make Indomie. Oh, shut up. Shut up. You want me to... I could just end the stream like right here. Okay, I could just end the stream right here. Nothing stopping me. Alright, nothing stopping me. Okay. I can end the stream right here and be like, Okay, I'm gonna go like have Indomie. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Let me know your Indomie taste. I like Ayam Bawang. I like Kadi Ayam. I like Kaldu Ayam. I also like the Misagara like... Uh, dry Indomie. Those are like my favorites. <laughs> like the Mizagara one is the... Uh, I think it's like the original original-ish. That's like the dry one. The other ones are like the soup ones. Yeah, but the soup ones have their own charm. I enjoy them. Let's see. Okay, the page of appears to converse of the nine reality. Yeah, two of them split the pentacles, doubles, qual double qualities, practicality, and magic. I think I need to like read read through this myself a few times. So many ayam flavors. Ayam is just chicken. So basically it's like curry chicken. Uh curry onion. Uh not curry chicken. Onion chicken. I don't know what caldo means. Um but yeah, chicken chicken maybe. <laughs> It's a good fried egg. Oh shit. No, you need the fried egg and then like the egg, the yolk, the egg yolk needs to be a little runny. Like Oh, when the egg yolk is a little runny, it's the best. <gasps> oh, you're making me hungry. You're making me hungry. And then if you have the resources, you should throw in a few slices of like a luncheon meat. Luncheon meat. And if you're feeling healthy, a few a few vegetables as well. And it's like, ah, damn. That's so good. Should not be talking about food at this hour. The book choice. <gasps> oh, <laughs> now I want food. But I want someone to cook the food. I want someone to cook the food for me though. Mm -hmm. Discourage. Without a sense of hard work, is way to wildness and dissipation. Prodigality. What the hell is prodigality? A moment, I need to like search up what is prodigality. Disturb your brother. I mean, I could throw something at the wall, but I doubt he'll hear it. The quality, uh, hold on. The meaning of prodigality in English the quality of spending or using large amounts of money, time, energy, etc., especially in a way that is not very uh what is i see so basically it's just it's just like a rich kid <laughs> a rich kid problems okay um all right let's see uh without his job huh? without his sense of heart Mm, so basically, let me just write down the meaning. Quality of spending. Quality of spending. A large amounts of time. Money. Energy is 
especially an unwise me. Ah, prodigality. Interesting. <coughs> However, the card can mean simply relaxation after a difficult task, like a student unwinding after examinations. That is the hard part about court cards. They have several meanings, like they can be read a certain way, they can be read like this and all that kind of thing. But which one is it will depend on the skill of the reader as well as the context of everything. Yeah, so this is a bit of a pain. It is a bit of a yabais, ne? Okay, next one is the tin of the tin of the pant coach. Oh man, look at the happy, happy, happy. Ten is completion, if I remember. It's like, uh, ten is ten is completion. It should be completion. Ten is completion. Oh, put the ball. Oh, put the put the ball. Where is it? Where is the new mobility? The new mobility somewhere here. Oh, seriously, where is it? Is it here? Here? No. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Um, completion, the need to go beyond. Okay, there. Completion, the need to go beyond. Alright, so. Apparently, this is a gate card. Okay, so gate card. One of the most symbolic and deeply layered minor cards. The gate opening. Oof. I think I need to take some time to read this for myself first. All the most symbolic and deeply layered of minor cards. The ten shows us the very image of the gate opening to hidden experience in ordinary things. And the ten of cups it deals with the mystic life. For granted. Interesting, she's holding on to the mom and everything. Hmm. This is such a long description. Holy shit, I'm sorry. I don't think I can read all of it out. Probably some silent study on my end. Don't mind me. Hmm. Kabbalistic tree of life. So basically forms. Magic one, where? Where? Toto. Minor. Oh, this one there, there. It's like a magic one here, right, right here. This one. Skills. Oh, there's a lot in this picture as well.
This one is a deep card. This is like, oh my god. I'm paying done making Indomie going on. Oh, why is everyone making Indomie? Are you guys trying to round me up here? Are you guys really. Are you sure you guys aren't trying to round me up here? Because I'm feeling pretty, like, I'm feeling really attacked right now. Feeling so attacked. Uh... Okay, I shall have more snack then. More snack. You just hear me crunch, okay? Crunch. Crunch. More crunch. Oop. Crunch. Crunch. ASMR Quantum. Yes, crack ASMR. <laughs> it's the crunch ASMR. Yummy crunch ASMR. Yummy, yummy crunch. Yummy, yummy crunch. Yummy, 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 yummy crunch. <laughs> Indomie is common in my place. It's common here too, but still. It's like a midnight snack kind of thing. I want to cook some too, but I like, gotta stream. <laughs> I don't think I have enough braining to like go beyond this one. I'm just trying to like study. <laughs> I'm trying to study. Yeah. Okay. Win the hero or the sea. Where I found from his wanderings in a wild monster in the wall outside civilized Greece, he came disguised as a beggar. Thank you so much, Esa. Thank you. <laughs> really appreciate it. Yeah. So this is the Kabbalistic Tree of Life. So it kind of shows some kind of, how to say, completion, some kind of happiness. You see like the family, um, the dogs being like, Oh, hello. Excuse me. Happy, happy, essentially, right? But at the same time, it suggests that like they're taking this comfort for granted, you know, they they're not really communicating with each 
other it's kind of like um <clears throat> it's kind of like a feeling of yes you have everything but you're kind of like taking it for granted in a sense and there's like a lot of extra lore in terms of like the figure of the beggar the figure of like the traveler oh thanks for the hit pat thank you the figure of like the traveler the beggar and uh you know stuff like that and it's just uh, yeah the concept of like the magic is like all around us yeah so this is definitely one of the gate cards let me just like oh gate cards uh gate card Gate card. Gate card. Hi. Hi, I know Apple Tree. Hello, hello. Yes, I am. Um, this is probably almost almost knocked over my water there. Um, <clears throat> this is probably not the most efficient way to study, but like to me, that's like the best way I can do. <laughs> me streaming just keeps you, just helps you, help you guys keep me accountable. <laughs> If not, I'll just be like, place. If not, I'll just be like, right. Uh, reads two lines. Goes back to playing Honkai Star Rail. <laughs> That's gonna be me if I don't have anyone to keep me accountable. But guys, admit it. It's very relatable. You'll, you'll be like, study two lines. Ah, time for a short break. Plays Honkai Star Rail for five hours. It. <laughs> Yeah, but anyway, welcome. Welcome in. Uh, give them a sun. Only the dogs recognize the visitor. So there's astrology and stuff. So a lot of things is like the comfortable lives. Kind of like concept of uh, a path set in stone. Kind of. But like, yeah. Daily single card pulls are the best way to learn. Indeed they are. Indeed they are. Yeah, I should. I should do them more often. I kind of do self-readings and then like I dive deep into like the readings. But of course those take like a bit of time and things. So uh, I probably gotta gotta be a bit more consistent with that. Thank you for the thank you for the reminder. Daily pools and journaling. Yes. Daily pools and journaling. Very important. Want to roast my account? It's okay. No need. No need. No need. Yeah. Today's not today is not the Honkai Star Real Day. Even if it was, I think I would prefer just showing you guys my account. <laughs> yeah. Sense of boredom with life increases, it can lead to taking risks. The reverse the reverse meaning is a lot easier to like digest, I guess. Hmm. Because we look for excitement. We look for excitement, yeah. You can also put them under your pillow. Knowledge from the tarot fairy. You know at some point I put I slept with like my cards under my pillow, but then I realized that's a bit dumb. Um so I slept with my cards beside me, uh, beside my pillow. That's that's close enough, right? Well, I put my Fortuna deck beside my pillow. <laughs> I hope it. I hope it works from that distance. <laughs> Does it work that way? Who knows? Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> but I did try at least. I did try. Okay, I did try. Okay, the risk. Hmm. Probably for the sis. Odysseus. Odysseus, yes. 100% crazy. Yeah, I'll probably just, just put the. I'll probably put the card beside me. I will try putting it under my table, you know? <clears throat> I want to summon Archer on my account. I know it's just one multi because I'm at uh, 65 PTs. Come here, Koto, if you want if you want so badly for your account to be on stream, maybe you could consider streaming yourself. I think I don't think it's right to like just hand over your account to a complete stranger. <laughs> don't just hand your account to a complete stranger. You invested money and time into it, you know? 
there's some risks when you like hand it over. Wait, why? Why are there two? Hmm? Why are there like two figures? Hmm. I can't believe there's like two versions. The one that is like. So the one we have is this version. Oh, interesting. Put a count on your pillow. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> How do you put your account under the pillow? <laughs> Putting stuff under the pillow isn't isn't the solution to everything. <laughs> Not like that. <laughs> Hmm. Domestic life. Let me try and write some notes here. Like, take this one slow. Because this is like, oh god, this is deeply layered. Um. Hmm. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Um. Surface. But. Taken. For granted. Taken for granted. Hmm. Pillow solves everything. Well, I guess if there's someone who is causing me trouble, I could technically put them under my pillow and sit on it, you know? You know? That pillow would solve my problem with another person. So you're not wrong entirely, but I'm probably the thinking of the extreme uh, version of things. So uh, you pretend you didn't hear it from me, you know? Pretend you didn't hear that from me. This magic signs. Magic one. I think it's going a bit deep, but the imagery is always very important here. See, it works. <laughs> you hear nothing pointing gun. <laughs> no, with I know I have to point the pillow. I point the pillow threateningly. I'm like, you heard nothing. Holds pillow threateningly. <laughs> Subtle forces the key to every world, everyday world from breaking into chaos. I probably should revisit this, I think. Three more accepted workings. Gravity, electromagnetism. Universe really does work very well, so like. Disguise as a beggar. Mm. By acting a certain way, people create in themselves the ability to recognize, receive the blessings in them. Self-awareness, I believe. Self-awareness. 
Hmm. <laughs> Bitty Terror is a good source for learning tarot too, but in a poetic sort of way, generally positive spins. Hmm, I quite like um I quite like Labyrinthos Terror. Terror, like it makes me like when I read it, I feel somehow the meanings kind of like kind of fall into place better. Does that make sense? Yeah, because I did like read uh I did read the I did read both Bidi Tarot and Labyrinthos. Yeah, I lean towards like Labyrinthos, yeah. Hello, um Luna. Now what's the issue with writing in the book? I have no idea. That person just like that person just like came in and was like you shouldn't do that, it's bad. I warned you and I'm just here like, but how is it bad? Like, like, it's just so weird. I'm just like, okay, this is just a book, Lamau. Yeah, that was, that was really weird. Anyway. My prototype, no yelling in chat. There's no dinosaurs in this book, sorry. Yeah, it's just a boring ass um, book about terror, yeah. People be crazy. I mean, the thing is that if you want to say you shouldn't do that, at least provide the reason instead of being like, uh, you shouldn't do that. That's like not good. Don't say I didn't warn you. And I'm just like... Huh? Okay. Yeah, anyway. No, thanks for the hi, J. Rudolph. Uh, prototype. <coughs> prototype, you're gonna be so annoying. I'm gonna ban you. Mm -hmm. Big stretch and posture check, thank you. <laughs> you good, you good. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you called them out, you're probably not expecting that. Oh, you mean like the book thing? Oh my gosh. <clears throat> A prototype, like, no offense was taken, but like, that was just really random, you know? Like, if you want to joke around, try and keep it on topic, yeah. I don't know, that is like the weirdo. I was just like, lol, so what do you want me to do? It's like, okay, just because you don't want, I'm like, just because you don't write in your books doesn't mean you can just be like, you can just do fear mongering to like a random, um, what? Like... A random stranger on the internet? You just go to tell them like, Oh, that's not good because of like, uh, the terror is the bad, uh, that kind of thing. Like that. Like, this is literally the first I've heard of it and I- And I'm the type who researches a lot. It's probably not connected to terror. It's probably just like, I don't like the fact that you're writing in your book and I'm going to like make you feel bad about it. Yeah. <coughs> Naruho don't. My fear fear mongering is yelling technology at people with a sign. I don't know. I'm not so confused about that, but um I will continue writing in my books. Thank you very much. Like, like, I think there are some people who like don't don't modify your cards. I mean there are literally cards where you can like color color in your own like for example it would be like this card with no colors and then you just put in your own colors like whatever just do what you like seriously yeah yeah but enough enough about like fear mongering you know <laughs> he's the nadu who don't <laughs> why is that funny yeah Hmm. It's the magic. Hmm. Idea of like fate. Predetermined fate. Yeah, 
this particular card has a huge wall of text. Like the previous cards didn't have this much like wall of text, so <sighs> dies. <laughs> dies. Yeah, I did I did uh, put in an order for another book, so maybe we could like look into that. Uh we could kind of like look into that book once once it arrives. It's a hardcover book. And I think the meanings are less divination than um, the 78 degrees of uh, wisdom. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to it. It was written by the by the creator of Labyrinthos, uh, Tina Gong. So I am really looking forward to like really diving in into it physically. I did. I do have the digital copy of the book, so I don't need to like buy it. But I'm like, you know. Having a physical book and studying with you guys, it actually makes me more pro more productive than like if I have to like study um, myself. So it'd be like that. Hmm. Cause this this kind of like study takes time, you know. It's just it takes time. It takes time. Copium, copium. It takes time. Stream the PDF. I could, but then it'll be. I'm trying to figure out a way to like write on it. Cause there's no point if you can't like write notes on it. So I'll just kind of like wait for the physical book to come and then I'll write in the physical book, okay? I can and I will write in my books. <laughs> I can and I will write in my books. You guys haven't seen like my my copy of Frankenstein? Because I did use it in my final year project and like <laughs> it's full of notes, okay? It's like freaking chock full of notes. It's like uh is that what we call? We recall like very crumpled stuff like uh salt of vegetable like yam thai. <laughs> Hi Shadow Pal, hi. You know me done cooking. You're horrible. You're horrible. How dare you shove it in my face? If Kiko were here, I'd tell Kiko to like to like time you out for tempting me. Oh, how could you? How could you? This is so mean. This is so mean. I want Indomie too. <laughs> I want Indomie too. Wait, I can stay with you. Doubt. How are you gonna? How are you gonna pass the nudes to me, huh? Okay, I think this is mostly like story and stuff. Yeah, sure, sure. What you had for breakfast? I just had like really nice home cooked misyam for my grandma. That that's wonderful. Misyam is great, and she cooks the best. Okay, she cooks cooks like the best misyam ever. Guys, Kiko is always watching. <laughs> Kiko is always lurking. <laughs> Miss Yam at 11.30. No, no, no. Like, I had it for dinner earlier today. I'm just talking about it. Oh, man. Maybe I should have asked for, like, some to bring back. And I could have it for supper, but, like... Scalloped potatoes covered in gravy and cheese. Laid over roast ham slices. Still, Prophet, oh, homie, like, I. How is that breakfast? Oh my god, that sounds so rich. Damn. Mission impossible. Mission impossible. No, not like that. <laughs> that sounds like a pun. It's a hearty breakfast. I see. I literally just came on. I swear, Kiko, every time you come on, I'm like mentioning you being like, man, if Kiko were here, I'll ask her to do this. And then she'll be like, sup, bro. <laughs> You're doing my job. <laughs> my my 2.5 mods uh, take their jobs very seriously, guys. Um, just say. <laughs> Remember the other day when we were we were uh, not the other day yesterday when we were playing uh, when we were playing on definitely not your 
not your HSR account with your with um uh, and then uh you know um enjoying uh definitely not your E3 S1 uh Invivita Lune, you know? We had a lot of fun, huh? Yeah, it, it was very fun. Mm. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> I hope you've been well, Kiko. <laughs> you can lead boredom with life. At least to take a risk. Risk. Yeah. When you're bored, you tend to do funny gambling things. The bored people will gamble. Yeah. Back with breakfast. How's everyone doing? Um. Well, a certain someone got timed out because Kiko came in at the perfect time. So, yeah, we're 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 free for a bit. <laughs> we're free for a bit. Kiko was talking about the barbecue corn and everyone's enjoying like some some ASMR, the crunchy ASMR. Hmm. The risk. Um, that's one. Other times there is promise from heat and from impatience with what we already have. Dissatisfaction. Dissatisfaction? With current situation. Hmm. Ten of Pentacles appear to ten <laughs> The peace and quiet without shadow. You said that, not me, okay? <laughs> I really came in and not even five minutes. I should say if only Kiko was here and here. <laughs> Kiko, it's because I can sense you. I can sense I can sense I can sense a disturbance in the force. That disturbance is Kiko uh Lurking in chat, yeah. A lot of times when we're like discussing hit cannons, like me with Kiko, especially um <laughs> Run Hung and everything, like we would often think of the exact same things. Like we would think of like, the exact same things. Like, we're on the same wavelength, yeah. Kiko is the perfect timing for these kind of things because it's Kiko. Like Kiko's like on the same wavelength as me. Ah, he's back. He's back. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah, he's back. <laughs> I'm not pissed. Oh, really? <laughs> okay, okay, guys. Then how do you... F okay, then how does everyone else feel about Shadow Pearl coming back? Come on. Tell, tell Shadow, tell Shadow as it is. Don't you don't you want to say ah he's back as well? Don't 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 you want to say that? Don't you want to say that, guys? Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> he's decent. <laughs> I'm not gonna fall for that trap. <laughs> now only my pleading eyes work, guys. Come on. Aren't you on my side? Isn't that why you're in my stream? Bling 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 my pleading eyes. Crunchy. Uh huh. You calling me tyrannical? Hmm. Really? <laughs> She's cute, so she gets a pass. Yeah, Shadow. If you were as cute as me, you'll get a pass too. But unfortunately, you're not. Sometimes the world is just unfair. Mm hmm. You no. Know? And you have to accept that. 
I'm not cute. I'm just uh. What are your good qualities? Um, you're you're good at getting timed out. Yeah, that that's like your good quality. Pico would agree. Life is not fair. That's right, Kiko. <laughs> this is my first time at the side with you. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Why do you have to wait a minute? Hmm. Guys, no more bully and ting hours is bully shadow hours. <laughs> Wait a minute, as in timeout minute? Kiko, you hear you hear that? You hear what Zero said? I think he means a timeout minute. <laughs> Chat was meant to be together. Chat is supposed to be together with me. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kiko's the type to hold a grudge. Unfortunately, you stepped on a landmine. <laughs> Well, it was nice knowing Shadow, I guess. It was nice knowing Shadow. <laughs> Kiko really, really here mastering the use of like the timeout widget. <laughs> the timeout function. It's like, it's like next time when Kiko, if, if Kiko ever mods for someone else, it's like, okay, what are, what are your skills? And then she just goes like, I am the master of the timeout function. <laughs> and then and then after that the, 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 the person um interviewing her is like oh my gosh you're hired it's like you're hired man Kiko Kiko you need to tell us your secrets how do you how do you like master the use of like the timeout so fast you gotta teach me you know I gotta be able to mod like future Kiko stream guys guys look forward to like future Kiko stream Maybe, maybe. Just one button away. <laughs> 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 That's the macaroni. <laughs> Honestly, I I don't think I I don't think I'll be able to concentrate to like move on to like the nine of tentacles. <laughs> I don't think I can concentrate anymore. <laughs> you guys are hilarious. <laughs> Easier to time out via mobile? I see, so that's your secret. Wait, 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 Kiko. If you mod on mobile, does this mean you're using a mod bile? Hey, I'm sorry. I'm not, it, it's terrible. I'm sorry. Please don't time me out. Thank you. Please don't time me out, Kiko. Thank you. <laughs> Kiko, please don't time me out. Please. <laughs> phone shame me. <laughs> we don't phone shame in this household. We only shadow shit. I mean, uh, what? I mean, what? Uh, mm, 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 mm. Anyway, no, no same in, in in the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no same in the house. Huh? Mm, mm, mm. What? What did I did I say something? Huh? <laughs> Repost streamer. <laughs> shadow is. I can't repeat that. No, no, I will not repeat myself. 
It is what it is. <laughs> I'm no man, I don't need your dick. <laughs> Shadow came into. <laughs> just came to be shit. Well, it's Shadow's fault for starting the whole dang hung thing, you know? I guess I just need to mop all the time, Shadow. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, Shadow. You can you can ask Kiko to repeat that. <laughs> you can ask Kiko to repeat that and uh, whether or not you get timed out is up to Kiko's discretion. <laughs> <laughs> I like how Shadow has so much hope. Shadow has like so much hope and like ambition. <laughs> We shadow shame in this shape them, huh? Hmm? This is Shadow's villain origin story. <laughs> shadow can like become a VTuber and then this will be Shadow's entire lore. <laughs> hey, how how does this mean? Wait, 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 guys. Okay, okay, listen, listen. I said we only shadow shame, but did I ever mean it's you? Did I ever mean it's you, Shadow Pell? I just said only shadow shaming. Okay, we shame shadows because we embrace the light. Yeah. Who else do you refer to shadow? Hmm? What makes you think I don't have other shadows? You see, you see, guys? You see? You look, look, see? You see this? Is this not a shadow? Is this not a shadow between my hands, huh? Okay. Don't 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 put so much a self importance. Okay. Okay. Listen. It's good to have self trust and self confidence, uh, but like <laughs> she put Uno reverse. I did not expect that. Excuse you. Shadow shame. I'm not making the shame obvious. Isn't that just gaslighting? You know who's gaslighting here? It's Shadow who's gaslighting. I never once referred to like to like the the, the shade the shame person as like specifically him. So really, really now. <laughs> My middle name is Shadow. I see, I see, 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 there are plenty of shadows. And also, like I mean the literal shadow, you know? You know. <laughs> And do you know that in tarot, there is this thing called shadow work? Like, you're literally, um, like, going through, uh, digging deeper into the dark side of yourself. <laughs> you know what I'm doing, cats like to type them up. And then get came my ideas. Kiko's always on the lookout for more ideas. Uh, very, very unfortunately for you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's like... I... I have... I have sent... Uh, when I... It's, you know, it's like... It's like when my stream starts, I start by unleashing... Uh, unleashing uh, Rabbit and Kiko. And until stream ends, uh, they're not coming... Um, they're, they're not within my control. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> They're no longer within my control. They do their thing. Yeah, they 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 only they only go back to their uh their 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 resting spot when the stream ends. So while stream is going on, um, they're unleashed and free. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, you are defend yourself with what sword? Huh? With what sword? You know who has a sword beside their name? Kiko. Do you have a sword, Shadow Pell? Do you have a sword? <laughs> <coughs> You're gonna fight back with what sword, huh? I do have a belt. But it's not a sword. It's not a sword. It's a mighty sword. Really now? Really? Shadow sword? <laughs> it's a shadow sword. <laughs> you cannot tell to identify something else. <laughs> um, I suppose, you know, you do have a point. But like a bat, bat, bat. <clears throat> it's okay, Shadow. It's okay. We know you. We know you're into being timed out. You know, it's okay. It's okay to. It's okay to admit your deepest, darkest desires. It's a belt that has delusions of grandeur. Every agent fears either the belt or the slipper. <laughs> Checkmate. <clears throat> what about the cane? What about the cane? And <laughs> shit. <laughs> You know, I think he's closer to like hentai come in. You know, put the put the underwear over his face and just goes ho oh, that kind of thing. Yeah. At the power of chat and this gun I found. Where did the gun come from? Bang. <laughs> Kiko, Kiko is normally <clears throat> Kiko is normally not this scary. I don't know. I don't know how you managed to set off this landmine in her, but somehow um it's gonna take a lot of time to get her forgiveness, so um yeah, like Start working on it, Shadow. Start working on it. Mm -hmm. Start working on it. <laughs> 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 oh my god, Kiko, you actually timed Shadow out. <laughs> and that's why she doesn't do warning shots anymore. She shoots to kill. <laughs> I'm 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 dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I mean, I feel like Kiko never does warning shots. Like Kiko is always is always ready. Like she's always ready to just like point shoot. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, you see you see Kiko's unleashed. So like um don't uh, don't offend Kiko if not I can't control what she does. That's kind of boring. To be fair, I'm only doing short time. <laughs> Anytime now, Shadow's gonna come back. Tadaima! <laughs> this is like gag timing out at this point. <laughs> Kiko seems like the type to be mad when her gun has blanks. I mean, it, the moment you say Dang Hung, she's like, shoots. So, really, no. Hi, Shadow! Welcome back, I guess. It's like, welcome back, I guess. <laughs> you ship dumb entertainment. <clears throat> Hi, Nayone. Hello, hello. How are we doing? Um, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. You joined us at a great time. We we're just talking about the newest entertainment on Sheepdom. It's called the Band Shadow. It's called the Time Out Shadow Pelt Counter. <laughs> I gotta get scoreboard on the stream layout. This shows how many times Shadow has gotten timed out. <laughs> I'm 
sure there is somewhere that has a record. It's so funny. <laughs> I'm being bullied. No, but but Judge, you always you always say stuff that gets you timed out. It sounds like a skill issue. It sounds like a skill issue from my point of view. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Shadow. Like it's a skill issue. <laughs> Mod can see a record if I remember correctly. Oh, is that so? Okay, okay. That means it's retrievable. Yeah. Are you gonna with me? Rayone, you need to know that Shadow had the audacity to call Dang uh, Tan Heng Dang Heng in front of Kiko. Um It was one once, really? <laughs> Damn. Are you sure you can cite? <laughs> character <laughs> why my cow my cow is to you <laughs> everyone everyone turns on shadow the moment the moment i mention the dang hung thing like really oh my gosh you like blake too i do like Gepi. Gepi is my precious son and blake is like I looked at him and I was like, Sir, I'm on my knees. Yeah. I was like, oh, Sir, I'm on my knees. <laughs> Didn't even second guess it. Ryone just heard, Oh, damn, you called, you called Dan Heng Deng he in front of Kiko? Dishonor. <laughs> Dishonor. I've been consuming Screwlum X Doctor Ratio recently too. <gasps> Hey, that sounds delicious. Have you have you seen like Dr. Ratio X Adventurin? Uh, you know. Ah, oh, thanks for the hydrate, hydrate. You guys hydrate too, okay? Dr. Ratio X Adventurin. <laughs> you know. Like uh the good stuff. The very the very good stuff. Next stream, we need to have a point redeem to time it now. Hey! <laughs> Help! <laughs> um, if if I actually put that, Shadow would, would never get to talk. Okay. It it is like Shadow would never get to talk. <laughs> Yes, yes, I have a doctor ratio boss down, which in Adventuring's case is rare. Hey, Adventuring can talk to- I mean, I mean, um, what? Yeah, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Ratio does feel like a bottom. He does, he does. Shame Shadow Redeem is only one point. And I, I bet you're gonna tell me still that I should put it on no cooldown as well. Yeah, no cooldown. It, it's just, it, it, it's... <laughs> I'm already dead. I don't need to die again. Shadow Pell be getting the be getting like the blade curse. <laughs> I know he can talk, but the majority I see online is adventure in bottom. Adventure is kind of like a power bottom. Kinda, but like bottom ratio? He needs someone ratio needs someone to put him in his place, okay? And screw him, honestly. Good choice, good choice. Yeah, very nice. Eight, ten second cooldown. Ten second cooldown does sound very generous, you know, if we're gonna discuss like a shame shadow. <laughs> Guys, please. Ole. Oh, 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 wow. I mean, if we're talking about the OG sons, we might as well bring in Gallagher. <laughs> G Gallagher, I, I look at him so sad. Sir, is that like, sir? You need a you need a bigger shirt, sir. The buttons are on their on their last life. <laughs> the buttons are your buttons are on their last life, sir, 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 sir. <laughs> <coughs> but Naomi, are you planning to 
Are you planning to pull anyone? Are you planning to pull anyone? Like, for the next two banners? This is me. <laughs> Even Blade wasn't that bad. Blade is like just barely. Blade Blade's coat fits very well, you know. Unfortunately, both banners. Oh no, my wallet will hate me. Are you planning to pull for all of them or like what? Because <laughs> right in May cones. Well, because the thing is that I'm I'm torn. Like it, logically, I should get Locha, but but Acheron is like 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 who cool all. <laughs> <laughs> After on is just like uh, tempting, tempting. And then, and then after that, there's Jing Liu and um Jing Liu as well as Aventurin. And I really want Aventurin, but Jing Liu makes more sense in my mind. It's like, look at all the characters that I was like, oh, oh my, like, look at Venture and Hacer, and then... And then I look at my lineup, it makes sense not to pull them, I'm just... I can't keep doing this, I can't keep doing this! I like Jinghyun, but I can't pull Jinghyun. And... <laughs> I see you need Black Swan's girlfriend. I'll play some tragic story quest and I'll be like, fine. I... <laughs> I really, really want to pull Jinyuan, but I, I... I'll just, I'll just hug Serval close. I'll be like, Serval, you're the best I got, Serval. I love you, Serval. You, 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 my lightning queen, Serval. It's okay. It's okay. <clears throat> if I want Jinyuan, I'll just borrow, I'll just borrow him. From Kiko. I'll just borrow him from Kiko. Okay, okay. Locha was safe in runs. Trust, yeah. Everyone and their grandma is telling me to pull Locha, so yeah. But then again, everyone and their grandpa is trying to tell me to pull, like, Acheron as well. So... <sighs> Damn, I don't know, man. I don't know. What should we do? <clears throat> Maybe I should pull a card and be like, should I pull Acheron? <laughs> like takes out the card. Personally, Yukong. Yukong? Mommy, sorry. Yukong. I mean, I do have Yukong, but she is on E0. I know she, I know people only say, people say that she's only useful at E6. So in the, <clears throat> you want waifu, husbando, or meta? I want to clear the story, so I have to go for meta. <laughs> so I have to go for meta. I have no choice. <laughs> it's like, hmm. I, I, you clear the story. You can go for his bundle. I will see you next time, Jingyuan. In the meantime, I shall wait for Blade because I want I want Blade more than Jingyuan as like a unit. In my team, yeah, like, like I, I'm, I'm all for utility. I do, I do want to try out like blaze mechanics. Blade is good. That's why I was like joking with Kiko that I'm forming the blade support team because it's like I'm planning to get Luo Cha and uh Jing Jing Liu, <laughs> and those two are like, those two are like, are like stones for blade, yeah. Blade is basically sucks his own blood, like like steps himself and be like, huh? Let's go, let's go, baby, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, and then it's time for me to like farm the HP armor and things. <laughs> I still have um, I I still have quite a few. So tomorrow, most likely, I won't be streaming. But on Saturday, if I have time, I might stream. I might stream a bit, but we'll see. Yeah. It's easy to build cause HP scaling unit. 
yeah, the more HP he has and stuff. <coughs> yeah, because the thing is that today's stream was meant to be tomorrow, but some things changed, so I pushed it forward to today. Bye, Buffy and Dojima Miri. No, no, unfortunately. No money, no energy, no group, no nothing. Yeah. <coughs> you boofed at previous cons before? Yeah, I have. I boofed at like... I boofed at like EOY. Then a few years back, I boofed at... Uh, I did boof at Dojima. I did boof at AFA as well and stuff. So like... Also, that was you. Bro! <laughs> Bro! <laughs> Bro! As a kitchen, but it was cute. Mm. Huh? <laughs> you scared it without thinking. <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> I got to ask you where to print the big cut. Hey, yeah, right. And if you want to print, I can just um help you out with that. Yeah, I perform too. Yeah, <laughs> I first knew about you from last EOI. Hey, thank you, thank you. Yeah. I just poof. <laughs> How did I not know? <laughs> Shadow deserves to be timed out. Shadow deserves to be timed out. I'm so sorry. Like like this this is this is too this is <laughs> Notice you were Singapore and moved at you. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Don't type him. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh Kiko has made Kiko has made the choice for me. I'm sorry. <laughs> is always loaded and ready to shoot <laughs> oh my gosh shadow is like a, a natural comedian can you imagine like picking up my keychain and then like not looking at it and being like damn this really looks like this this streamer that i'm watching now and i talk to like most days a week like wow uh, i wonder where she's from like like how how <clears throat> and yeah, um, uh, guys, at some point, Kiko did come by the booth as well. Same with like Rayone. <laughs> oh my God. Like, um, uh, there aren't many events uh, within the country, so people do gather, you know. This man is gonna be broken by the end of the stream. Nah, he's strong. He won't be broken by something like that. If he was broken by something like that the first time he said Dang Hung would have been the end for him. <laughs> I saw a very stupid Pokemon joke, but it made me laugh. Oh no. Oh no. What kind of joke? <clears throat> I don't advertise my VTuber in my booth that much, but will probably do so at Dojima. That's the thing, Nayone. It's actually not too... It doesn't work too well to advertise your VTuber beside like your artistic pursuits because it's like... <clears throat> because it's a bit... It's a bit of... They're two completely different things. People who are there for your art aren't there for you as a VTuber. People who are there for you as a VTuber aren't there for your art. <clears throat> so... I guess unless your branding is very incredibly strongly... Um, tight to uh you know your art and stuff then i suppose it should work but otherwise it's a bit yeah so hmm. if you piss off your friend who has multiple romantic partners you have to face their polyrath oh my god what kind of a joke is that what was that guys guys you have to read the joke i can't believe i have to read this joke with my own two eyes oh what kind of a joke was that? What kind of a joke is that? What kind of a joke is that? What kind of a joke is that? What? Nani? Nani? 
何<笑> This one also asking to be timed out. I see. Um. <laughs> um. Kiko, you're the one with the loaded gun. I will leave it up to you if you want to time them out. Again, <laughs> for all you guys boost at Dojima. Yeah, I won't be boosting at Dojima because number one, Dojima is expensive and you need a lot of planning. You need a lot of planning. Like, um. Um, I could only really afford to go forward with it if I had like a group to to like work with and like uh, like mo like by now my merchandise my plastic merch has to be in printing already like I have no plan I should plan please <laughs> if you have blade merch I might I might get I might get one. <laughs> I keep telling myself I want to draw my own merch. Like, like, I want to draw... Uh, what? I want to draw Honkai Star Real merch. But I'm so lazy. I have two weeks to plan. It's okay. All right. All right. You guys have fun. You guys have fun. I'll... I, I don't know if I would even go, actually. I don't know if I even go to Dojima. But see how. Yeah. I don't have a... I don't even have a cosplay, you know? How about acrylic keychain? I mean, I have, I do have a keychain of my own merch. Like, I do have my own merch. I still have some stock left, yeah. It's like, I used to do fan merch. Uh, I don't do them anymore though. Because YouTubing takes up all of my energy. But I used to do it. I used to do it. So, I should be able to do it theoretically. What would you cosplay if you did? Uh, you don't have any more courses? I threw most of them away. <clears throat> And like, uh, things happened and I guess like I don't really fit into a lot of them anymore. So I take it as like I don't have um, any more. Okay. I threw them away. Yeah. Kind of. Kind of. Because they were stacking up and some of the cosplays I would never touch again. So I threw a lot of them away. Uh the merger can't get overseas. Oh, I'm sorry. Why didn't you sell them on carousel? Good point. Good point. Um, I should, huh? Uh, maybe I should sell them on carousel. But at the same time, I don't know if they will, if people will buy on carousel. Pain and suffering. Yeah, because it's like, it's a one-person operation and last time, like, years ago, I handled overseas shipping for... for a lot of, like, my... my merch and my friend's merch. And it was hell. <laughs> it was hell. Like, it was very stressful and stuff. Just meet under your block at a nearby mall. I would just put compulsory shipping. I am not meeting buyers. I am not meeting buyers to pass them my VTuber merch. I'm sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, Shadow, I'm 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 impressed too, don't worry. I'm 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 impressed too. I mean your cosplays are shipping, I see. Yeah. I mean Nah. It was it was too much, okay? I know I seem to have everything under control, but it's a lot of energy and time to sell things. So I'm like, I just threw it away, yeah. I also eat up plenty of causes when I moved. Yeah, because it's, it's very easy to say, why didn't you sell them? But the amount of energy and time and, and everything you need to like get that sale and stuff, it's still like, ah. Uh, <sighs> Man, I still remember when I when I talked to Rayone, like like before she started, and she was like, "Oh yeah, I'm planning to start retubing too." And I was like, "Oh what?" <laughs> I was like, "Oh what? Oh well?" <sighs> yeah. So, so the the circle is small. The circle is pretty small. So, but um, if you wanna ask. Me, honestly, I would say that um, currently in in like our local circle, I may... Currently in our local circle, 
I may be the most... I may be the most well-known one, actually. Like, not well-known internationally, but like, well-known around these parts. Because I regularly booth at EOY, I regularly promote like my VTubing activities and stuff, and then I perform live as well. Those are live performances, okay? Those are live performances. I know they don't look like live performances, but they are. They are. Yes, they are live performances. Perish, yeah. Once I start VTubing, I'll wage war against you guys. <laughs> you can try. Miri's popular as GV2 for trust. <laughs> no! <laughs> Me! <laughs> no, not, not, not like this, I am <laughs> You got a fan USA, you got one USA fans go thank you, Zero! Ayy, ayy, yeah. Uh, uh. Me with my 10 subs versus Miri with 3k. Uh, I mean, if you combine, if you combine my, um, my Twitch following and my YouTube following, it will be about like 4k. <laughs> I see. Thank you, Luna. Thank you. Well known in Singapore, JB and some say Batam. Where are you getting where are you getting these locations? <laughs> I was wondering was the lineup wrong. Sometimes on the day itself they do shift people around a little. Yeah. Don't 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 mind it, yeah. It was a Pachukang joke. <laughs> Ah, well. But guys, guys, do you know who... Do you know who Best Girl is? Guys, do you know who Best Girl is at EOY? It's obviously the Singapore Police Force. That's like the... That's like Best Girl. Best booth at EOY, okay? I will die on this hill. Yeah. Yeah, you... you it's, it's like... Everyone asks, who, what is the best booth at EOY? Who is Best Girl? It is... SPF. Okay? It is SPF. Mary, please. Nayone, come on! You agree! You agree, right? You agree, right? Nayone, come on! You agree, right? Come on, come on. SPF, best girl. They give me free umbrella and teddy bear. <laughs> they go in there to educate. And then when they go on stage, you're like, Yo! SPF! Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> I think there are few events where they're as loved as uh, at you. <laughs> I was only there for a while. Yeah, you were. You was cosplaying Hal. Yeah, you were cosplaying Hal, right? Did I see you when you were cosplaying Hal? Ah, oh, I can't remember. Holy shit, my 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 memory sucks. Yeah, I was with uh, the rest of V Petto as well. So like. The other girls, you know, the other cute girls, um, uh, looking extremely fab, and I'm just there being like, yeah, I'm just here, you know? <laughs> I'm just vibing. I'm just vibing, baby. How wow, wow. That's incognito. Kiko, you're 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 incognito. You're incognito during smaller events, you know. It just be like that. Ah, uh, I do miss cosplaying a bit, but. All the, all the characters I want to cosplay look so complicated. They look so complicated. <sighs> and cosplay is expensive. This cosplay is expensive, like... <laughs> Pain. Meh. Be like the younger crowd, cosplay the modern first. But, 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 but. I'm not really good. I do not look forward to meeting you guys in real life. Kiko is definitely going to go beyond reality and <laughs> tie me out right there. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Kiko will somehow do that. Kiko will somehow pick you up and be like, yeah. <laughs> Kiko, what do you think? <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Still thinking if I want to go to the HSR event next week. Um, there was... It's, it's the anniversary event, was it? Does it have anything interesting? Because I'm interested. I'm like, mm, 
event. It is our event. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, but mm, no news about the event yet. Mm. We keep our eye on it. It's like hold your verse, hold your verse, please. This is your this is your home ground. Please give us something nice. Thank you. Yeah. This anime gardens, anime garden gardens, but the there's so many. Uh, there's so many. Man. I'll probably just 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 be be tubing. HSR is collabing with Tati. Again? Again? <laughs> or like did they collab with Tati or did they collab with like the Tati owns HSR right now? <laughs> again? Yeah, I was like again? <laughs> Uh, if they at least collabed with like Liho, that would be fine. Like Liho's affordable, but Tati is like ka ching ka ching 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 ka ching 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 ching. <coughs> you didn't check the date. Kiko, Kiko, you know what to do. Kiko, you know what to do. Someone didn't check the date. <laughs> Someone didn't check the date. <laughs> Someone didn't check the date and caused chat white panic. <laughs> Size. <laughs> Target eliminate. Um. Bang after you've shot a gun. <laughs> Shadow Shadow be pulling a blade on us. Shadow is just unkillable. <laughs> Be this funny, but help. <laughs> I just, I just imagine like, I just imagine Giko like you know after she shoots, she she puts the gun nozzle and she blows the smoke away like bang and then <laughs> she goes yeah. Patience just bangs <laughs> during the tattoo. Three hours. I'm 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 more impressed with like Kiko's patience. Like really, really. Hi Tokiwe. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my uh definitely uh tarot study session. Uh, it's not like I finish. It's not like I wrapped up my studies and now we're talking about like um. Honkai Star Road, definitely not. No. Ah, Shadow's back, I guess. Looking at his fresh cool <laughs> Help, I'm dead. <laughs> Sh 
Shadow opens his HSR game. Bang. <laughs> Hi, Ruka. I'm sorry you have to like... <laughs> you, you, you have to see this. You have to witness this. I'm so sorry about that. Yeah. You have to witness a uh, Shadow... Uh, um, suffering the consequences of his own actions. Yeah. Two hours to buy another one and a half hours for the drink. Holy shit! Shadow, are you are you trying to rile Kiko up? <laughs> are you trying to rile Kiko up? Are you actually trying? <laughs> At this point, you have to be doing this on purpose. <laughs> Ah, dang hung them. What a way he really enjoys it, yeah. <laughs> what your man mod can do. I told you, Kiko's unleashed, and like, and like he won't go back to rest until the stream is over. So like, pissing Kiko off is my stream mark at this point. <laughs> What's here from the start is funny. I I I. One of these days, I'm going to like get inconsistency in, and then when she's here, I'll be like, "You, you need to do stuff on behalf of Kiko," and she'll be like, "Okay." <laughs> Lionel, what do you think about becoming my mod? Like, no obligation, but you have the power. You get the power, so it's like extra power <laughs> to like deal with Shadow Build, you know? Mm. Kiko's sick. I want to settle real quick. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, more ammunition. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see. Dayon, ne? Dayon? There we go. A, A. <laughs> there needs to be a compilation. Of Shadow getting timed out, yeah. Um, probably, probably. <laughs> the time burn. <clears throat> probably, like, um, maybe, maybe. That would be very funny, though. <laughs> I'm dead. That has 18 timeouts so far. I like how that's the first thing you checked. <laughs> to celebrate your initiation. <laughs> this mad this mad man really it Seriously? Oh my gosh, that's so sad. But I'm glad you got the drink in the end. Like, what are the perks of like getting the drink? What are the perks? Guys, look, I can blab. I can blab. Mm. 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 Ah. 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 <laughs> Play and cough, 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 sleeve. Ah, oh, I see. Nice, nice. Coasters. And Serenity of Wind, I don't know what you're joining, but like, oh. There's just nothing to join. Yeah, nothing to join. Stickers of Stellaron Hunters plus March plus D H Ah okay okay sounds nice Stellaron Hunters though ah uh, play play cha 
His design is so is so hot. I'm trying to like calm down. <laughs> that was too much excitement. Yeah, underwhelming compared to the Genshin Cola. Mm. I think the game just needs some time to like really get get things going. Wait, Blade from Elder. No, 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 Blade from Onkai Star Rail. Yeah. Yeah, people willing to queue up hours because they're thirsty like you, Kiko. They they thirst like you. They thirst like like you, you know? You know it's a good design when even Blade Old <laughs> looks good. <laughs> you mean Ing Sing, yeah. <clears throat> and they only saw like 100 daily. Oof. That's like... I say tomorrow you wake up early for limited merch. What? Luna, what? No contact. Okay, okay. <clears throat> I mean, I'm not even into... Wait, what's that? Blade? Blade, what? What, 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 what? I don't even play Elden Ring. How am I supposed to know? Damn. Hell, what merch? Luna, you can't just like... <laughs> Guys, you need to elaborate. You need to elaborate. Fauna birthday set. Oh my god, good luck. Good luck. Fauna birthday set. You can do this. You can do this. You can do this. I believe in you. Get that Fauna birthday set. If you don't get that birthday set, don't come back to this stream, okay? You better get that birthday set, yeah. <laughs> you better come back with the birthday set or else. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye forever. <laughs> no, Luna. <laughs> oh my god, rip. Anyway, if they have another, another future collab, I would probably participate and go and get some people are eyeing, either buying two or four drinks i would probably buy the drinks that are uh, uh but i'll probably buy like many drinks and then i'll get the drinks that can keep and don't have sugar then i'll just keep them in the fridge for drinking later <laughs> probably ah uh, i don't know who asuka is um Sounds like a tough decision. That's rough, buddy. <laughs> That's rough, buddy. It's alright. Sometimes you gotta make mistakes to realize that they are mistakes. That's rough. Like for example, my mistake, my mistake, the mistake of all time was entering the Honkai Star Real fandom. That that that's my entire mistake, guys. That is uh that is <laughs> My, that is my entire mistake. <laughs> we don't talk about the kiss collab. I went there with you and inconsistency because you guys wanted to go. And at that time, I was completely not interested in it. I still have like the pom-pom badge. <laughs> I don't know. She, that sounds like a skill issue. I did it. Out of... <clears throat> I did it out of like, um, how to say, I did it on behalf of uh, Kiko and Kiko's and my long time friendship built on trust and understanding. Okay, so I was like, fine, I'll try. <clears throat> yeah, like. In return for her teaching me and the stuff like that, I am babysitting one of her other games. I'm babysitting her alternative rap battle. Her <laughs> alternative rap battle account. Yeah, I'm babysitting that account. And then the other day she the other day she like locked in. She was like I have five million points and I'm like, whoa, I uh, I wonder uh, how that happened. <laughs> hey, yeah, right, Kiko. Uh, wow, I wonder how the five million points appeared. <laughs> right, right. Anyway, Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Definitely not from abusing autoplay. Hey, hey, I use a lot of strategies, okay? And your team, like I kept complaining to you, is sorely lacking, okay? Like, unlike in Honkai Star Rail where you collect, where you collect anyone and everyone, you only freaking collected like Samatoki, okay? Like, oh my god. <laughs> these days i would do a just chatting stream and then there won't even be this tarot thing we'll just be talking <laughs> we'll just be talking yeah i mean we could always have a stream that is just called it's the bully shadow bell stream <laughs> have you ever played honkai impact dirt nah never played don't honestly you don't have the energy to like um yeah. no stream is not sheep stream without me being timed out once Shadow Pal, are you are you assuming that before you came in, none of my streams were valid? Lamau? <laughs> Kiko is ready to crack her knuckles, yeah. Yeah, like like Emiri <laughs> can go cheap. <laughs> we're gonna like um <clears throat> I'll probably be like, Kiko, are you are you free next week for another uh HSR collab <clears throat> and then while I'm while she's guiding me but right, literally one one hand is it's like literally she's guiding me through through speaking and then with her hands she is like ready to time shadow out like anytime <laughs> like like she's on her on her uh, computer is my stream guiding me and then like she takes off when can I collab Miri for HSR? Like, hey, that you need? You can collab with me anytime, but the only thing is that, um, the only thing is that it's a single player game, and Kiko tends to be like on the advisory side of things. So it's basically me, and then like Kiko is like my guardian angel or something. So, so I mean, if we, we can definitely work something out, Nayane, like I, I don't mind. Yeah, it's, it's not that I don't want to collab with you, okay, but I don't know how it'll work out. Yeah. Like like personally like like for example the other day she she let me use her account so everyone was like was like be was like be looking at her beautiful E three S one uh in Bibitolone. <laughs> I can be advisor number two. You know you're onto something. You're onto something, Leone. So on I'll be like on my right sh on my left shoulder is Kiko and then on my right shoulder is Leone. <laughs> And then Kiko would be, and then on like, and then Kiko would be at my side being like, okay, pick this blessing. And then Lyonie is like, no, 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 pick the other blessing. And I was like, but I wanted to pick the center blessing. And then we just stare at each other. <laughs> I'll be like, <clears throat> in before, in before Lyonie and Kiko start like fighting over what advice to give me. And I'm just there eating my barbecue corn. I'll just be like. Guys, I'm the streamer, you know? Like, we have to proceed. Like, the simulated universe won't run itself. <laughs> the simulated universe won't, won't complete itself. <laughs> <coughs> the only thing that makes us waiting is to see when we get the time shadow out. No, no. You guys will be competing to time shadow out first. Legit. You'll be like, I, I timed him out first. No, no, no. I timed him out first. <laughs> then I'll be like, guys, it's not a competition. <laughs> <laughs> hi, Dells. Hi. I'm not a hunting prize. Of course not. You are the final prize. <laughs> uh, we should really think all options to consider a team and kick kill. <laughs> I mean that's a great idea. the The problem is being able to match up with uh, Kiko Shadow because she has a uh, she has, she she has a pretty tight like um <clears throat> window of time. We could we could discuss that for sure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So Kiko Kiko, please please um <clears throat> please um Kiko, please give me your nights. Hey <laughs> Kiko, you you can give. 
Could you give me one of your nights, Kiko? <laughs> Oh, when Kiko's not free, I can be the advisor. Yeah, that's sure. Sure, sure. That'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. That works as well. <laughs> Basically, I'm like, Hi, guys. I have brought a backseater. <laughs> I'm flexible with my ships too. I'm willing I'm willing to, to discuss ships, okay? Yes, ships are great. Yeah. <laughs> not a price of task. <laughs> Kiko be pushing the OT3 agenda and I'll be like I'm here like Jing Hung is great, Run Hung is great, um um Jing Jing Run is also great and bottom doctor ratio is great. Um so is bottom adventure and mm, everything is good, you know. <laughs> super, uh, super I can't advise but I know nothing about the game. Well then, it's time to start playing Honkai Star Rail. In fact, it's a very good time to start Honkai Star Rail because right now, you still get... Right now, you still get a free 5 star. And like, when the update drops, you get free 30 rolls. Like, 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 start the game now. Great. Jing Luo is good too. I love Jing Luo! It is my... It is like... My, my secret. My, my, I'm just like, they have so much UST. Ding Law is like, slam stick. Ding Law is great. I don't know about Blade Law. I don't actually know that. Uh, please, please enlighten me. We be omnivores to eat everything? I kind of eat everything. Yeah, I'm a multi shipper. There are some ships, obviously, that I like more than the rest, but. But. You know, I'm, I'm open to everything. I'm starting to get a feeling that this is what you meant by hate cannons. Oh, this barely scratches the surface of my head cannons. Like, you don't want you don't want to dig deeper than this. Okay, just just accept that we ship them and go on your merry way, Shadow Pelt. Okay, yeah, yeah. Just just don't 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 join us for real for real. Just accept it. Yeah, Dingo's constantly in my mind to OTG to over my body and so. <laughs> Taylor was a bit of a meme. Oh no! <laughs> no, please. Yeah. Kiko, I and Inconsistency regularly talk about like um, stuff regarding the OT3. So, like, you know, I count that Blade and uh, Jing Liu in the team. They're good! You know, you know, when I'm like looking, okay, I'm gonna get Luo Cha. And probably uh Jing Liu. Jing Liu. And then I realize I'm essentially building the blade team. Without blade. The important thing is that there's no blade. There won't be blade for a while. Um Imagine if Blade comes back in like nine months and then we can make another joke. <laughs> we can make a joke about <laughs> about King Kong's or Blade. That would be funny. <laughs> <laughs> the the Ting Yuan joke was like insane. <laughs> the Ting Yuan joke. <laughs> Is there Fujo antics of food here? I can't tell. I think you're just in denial, Steel Prophet, but. Yes, Fujo antics are. um, Fujo antics are here. Yeah, Fujo antics are great. Don't worry, we we know how to we know how to center ourselves for a stream, but don't dig any deeper than that. For your own sake. Just saying. Okay? For your own sake, don't dig. Don't dig. <laughs> I can't escape it. Don't escape it. Embrace it. Yeah, it's time to promote Blade into Prince Consort. <laughs> Shadow Bell, I literally told you not to dig deeper. Why did you Google search it? Why? You did the exact opposite of what I told you to do. But Rayone, Rayone, but Rayone, no, 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 there's no time. It's like, there's no time. Will you promote Blade to Prince Consort? <laughs> 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 that was hilarious though. That was like so funny. <laughs> I 
I love how Sayu was discussing it on his stream. It was like, <laughs> if you tell a youngster no, he's gonna do it, and that is my problem. How you chose to, you chose to. Okay, you chose to look it up. You don't want to know. You don't want to know about Kiko's collection. You don't want to know about Kiko's collection. Yeah, no, no, no. You don't want to know. <clears throat> I love this so much. For <laughs> <laughs> I can't go to so sleep. I have to wake up early to stream. Oh my gosh, guys, we gotta go get her here. Okay. Remember, guys, you gotta go to sleep now and then you gotta wake up so you can watch Nayone stream. Okay, important, important. Yeah, the rest of your studies. There's no studying to be done. I'm probably gonna like wrap up and end stream before anyone raids in by accident. Yeah. I know what they do. I don't wanna know about it. But Shadow Bell, now that you've gone down the rabbit hole, you might as well embrace it. Yeah, join us. Join us. Join us. Join us. Join us. Yeah. You can start with Ren Hung. You can start with Ren Hung. They're good. They're good, right, Kiko? Don't you think they're great? Like, if you start with them, maybe Kiko would like... Maybe Kiko would not time you out so much, you know? You gotta redeem yourself somehow. You gotta redeem yourself somehow. Do you know do you know that 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 you know Fudanchis Fudanchis exist? Fudanchis exist! Join us! Hey! <laughs> I don't want to question my morality as I read through that. It's not about morality, it's about taste. Sounds like a skill issue, Shadow. That's such a skill issue. Love is your love, okay? Love, love is our love. Skill issue. I give you one chance to like get Kiko to forgive you and you don't take it. Ah. Weak. I'm sorry. Weak. <laughs> Kiko point the gun at me, please. Every streamer I know is a Fujo. That sounds that sounds like a It sounds like your taste just your taste in streamers. It sounds like you have a very specific taste in streamers, do profit. <laughs> aside you need to join us you need to join us you know you know you see my hand you need to join us it's a sign it does all this away. <laughs> kiko you forgot if there's if there's no hole there's still a way you make i mean um i mean what <laughs> to time out, kiko. i'm sorry you can't time out a mod i i i I'm up here. You can't type me up. <laughs> Ayone, stop it. You know you're one of us. Stop trying to stop trying to be stop trying to outsay so much. <laughs> <clears throat> oh my god, Kiko, what if I have a stream? I said to uh, I said it to like mature and now I'm like, guys, today we're gonna talk about HSR ships. <laughs> We're gonna talk about like uh, we're gonna talk about HSR ships, you know? Like, why do you feel like she's recruiting for a call or something? I mean, I could always just go back to streaming Cult of the Sheep. Cult of the Cult of the Lamb, the Sheep. <laughs> That's not how you ban streamer. You can't. You can't time out the streamer. 18 plus 50 shades of run out discussion. I'll just ask at this point I'll just ask Kiko to start her own channel and I'll just redirect you guys there. Okay. 50 shades of run out. What's wrong with you guys? My mods are out of control. My mods are out of control. I should not have unleashed them. I should not have unleashed them, guys. Oh no. <laughs> you guys sound way too excited. You unleash them yourself. I unleash them, but like they're extra wild. No, no, I need, I need to unite them. I need to unite them with a common purpose, guys. Guys, you need, guys, you need to go and time out Shadow. You need, you, you need a common purpose. Yeah, I go. <laughs> Some of you may die, but that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. 
You know? Mm. <laughs> she handing her mods the new Kirkos. Who could have done this? Hmm. I I Kiko did it. Kiko actually did it. I. <laughs> what the what? I'm the good cop. We need a bad cop and a good cop. So you guys compliment each other uh, very well. Very well. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Um, it'd be like that. Okay, you know what? Let's kind of like um wrap things up. Okay. <laughs> Shadow to come back. <laughs> I mean, I enjoy reading Yuri manga. Are you reading Yuri manga during this holy time? <gasps> Welcome back, Shadow Bell. Okay, so now that you're back, um. <laughs> the bit one. Yeah, Kiko, what does it mean by um what does what do you mean by bit one, Kiko? What do you mean? What do you mean? Lione, that's too light. Why why would you time out only 10 seconds? That's that's just so sad. You need to match Kiko at least, you know? To dance. <laughs> I mean. Do you see the smug smile on my face? It's V Bridger. <laughs> okay, well then it's it's almost um I was streamed for almost four hours, so um to those of you on YouTube, thank you guys uh for thank you guys for coming. Okay, thank you guys for coming. For those of you on uh, Twitch, please stay with me while I send you guys off to someone else, okay? <clears throat> if possible, I'll see you guys on Saturday night. But if not, um, if not, it'll be next week or something. Yeah, my schedule is free for the rest of the week. If there's any, I'll just guerrilla. But like, yeah. <clears throat> Who are we raiding? I actually don't know. Like, um, I don't know. Usually, I decide. I just like look. Oh. Because there's no way I'm finding another another uh, VTuber in the terror category. Just no way. Just no way. Okay, there's no way I can wreck. Oh, oh, okay. I'll, I'll take recommendations. Please direct the rate. Thank you. Caramel VT. Ooh, sure. Oh, they're doing uh, one guy star real as well. Okay, you know what? Let's go for that. Yeah. Please do the please do the exclamation rate then. <laughs> All right then. Atsuyadi guys. Atsuyadi. Bye bye. Bye bye.